about this money. Let me tell you, this money can never be good until you pay me your two months' as rent. Okay? Uh, but sir, I, I thought we talked about this, and I promised I will make the payment next week. Why, why are you still talking about it? I've changed my mind because I don't trust you. I've changed my mind. I don't trust you. Nay, please take it easy on him. Eh? He said next week. Why can't you excise patience till then? If he did not pay, you can do whatever you want. Eh? Allow the poor boy to rest for once. Papa, you just yeah. heard him. He said next week. Hey, 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 Allow hey, this poor boy to Papa, rest if for I once. Him from you, nah, I should allow him. Do you see this person someone that can keep to his promises? If you know that he doesn't have money to pay for his house, why, why, why must you occupy two rooms? Look at this one. Always locked. I don't know if he's afraid of him. This one. We also occupy this one. Eh? You see, man? Why are you parking in here? You pay me only for one month. With the story that uh, you don't have money, you came from a, 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 a poor family, and I allowed you. Say that to now. For one story or, 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 or to the other. But, sir, we, we talked about it. I, I told you, you should give me one week. I'll make I'll make up the money and I'll give it to you next week. That's what I told you. And you agreed. We had an agreement. And now you're coming to scream at me that, that you don't trust me. How can you say you don't trust me? I am screaming in my own house. Because I gave you a house. Now I am screaming because I'm demanding for my house. Sir, I didn't say you, but we had an agreement before. We had an agreement. And I said I don't trust you again. I have changed my mind. Uno, come on. Una, please, give him this last chance. Hmm? I am sure he's going to do something. Two months rent is not too much for a young boy like this to run around and pay. Allow him to rest, Bikoni. Listen to me. Listen to me, all of you. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Listen to me. If you like, do something. If you like, do whatever that pleases you. But. Two but salary is if I never did that, my comment. For a young I am going to a meeting. By the time I come back, then I'll have your time. Yes. Hey! Thank, thank, thank you, man. I, I try. I promise you to pay next, next, week, next week. Just try, huh? Hmm? Try your best, eh? Sorry, sorry, about that. What, what kind of woman do you? Sorry. You know the man is here. Oh yeah, do what you are doing, huh? Papa. Papa, I I would like to talk to you. You would like to talk to me? About what? Yes, Papa. Um, it's <coughs> it's about Odili. Odili, has he given you my money? Umbao, Papa, just relax. He hasn't given me the money. It's even because of the money I want to talk to you. <sighs> um, Papa, see eh? the way you are harassing this young man. Over this rent is not good. It's not good. It's not good because it could be your son. Because of ordinary two months rent, eh? That this young man is owing you. You are harassing him like this. Ah! You have a son like him. Why can't you just assume that he's your son? I mean, Papa, think about it. Supposing he's your son and someone else is harassing him over ordinary two months rent. How will you feel? Eh? Nobody knows tomorrow and no condition is permanent. And in this life, whatever we do, we have to think of the future. We have to think of tomorrow. Because anybody can become anything at any time. Papa, think about it though. Think about it. So... This is the reason you stopped me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chuku. This is the reason you stopped me. Do you know you are a fool? Huh. A big fool. Hmm. Now you listen to me. My son, Samson, can never be in that condition because he is a hmm. And let me 
Samuel also tell you, if you are all the less lawyer speaking on his behalf, wow. you better go and tell him that I don't want to hear this story again by next week, which is four days today. If he doesn't pay me my money, if he doesn't pay me my money, what I will do to him, he will regret ever stepping his feet into this compound. I know my come on, get to the side. Judith, yeah, Judith. Uh -huh. Where is your sister? She's in front of the house. Uh -uh. Has she prepared the, uh, the breakfast? Mama, I don't know. The fact is, like, she's not happy this morning. What is wrong with her? Mama, I don't know. Hey. Mama. Mama, you have to talk to Papa. You have to talk to Papa. Talk to your husband. Hey, ask where is your husband now. You have to talk to him. This is not nice. What is fair is fair. And this is totally not fair. Hey. Um, what did he do? It's about Odili. Odili, hey. our tenant. You were here this morning now. This is what happened. Is this how to behave? Is this how to treat people? Eh? I went to see if I could talk to him for him to calm down. But instead, he continued from where he stopped. He didn't even listen to me. It's not nice now. How can he be arresting this young man like this? Over an ordinary two months of rent. Haba! No condition is permanent though. But is that why your face is like this? Is that what makes you so upset? Eh? Eh? By the way, what is your interest in this matter? Eh. Why are you so concerned? Eh? Why, why, why would I be upset? Eh? Why would I be concerned? Am I not a human being? Mm -hmm. Are we not all human beings? Is he not a human being too? Eh? I should be concerned for my fellow human being now. What is that? Is this how to treat people? Eh? Is this how to treat people? It's not good, Mama. Stop talking like this. You know what I'm saying. What is good is good. What is not good is not good. Ah uh ah! -uh. This is a young man, just like your son. You too, you have a son, Mama. You have a son, just like this. Can't you just assume this is your son and treat him right? You think he chooses to be poor? You think if he has a choice, he will come here and uh, he will he will come here and uh, come to this village and, and be a poor man? Of course not. He doesn't have a choice. Circumstances of life and situations and family background has brought him here not for us to treat him as a slave. The least we can do for him is to be nice and kind to him. It won't cost anything. Let's be nice and let's show love. Your son, Samson, he's also in the, in the city. He's a tenant in the city and I'm sure his landlord does not treat him like this. Because brother, Samson pays his whole house rent very well. What is it? Uh -huh. What is it? Uh, wait. Uh, who just spoke? I don't understand. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, I have suffered. Hey. <coughs> Bia mama. Mama! Please. I don't want to be upset. Warn this daughter of yours never to interfere when I'm talking. Don't you dare interrupt me next time because if you do, you will never believe what I will do to you. Are you mad? What's your mate? Oh, no, no, no. You two have an opinion. You want to have an opinion in my mouth. I'm talking, you're talking. Judith, uh -huh. I thought you've done washing the plate. Oh, you are busy listening to us. What's that queen? Parrots. Eh? Oh, don't mind. Hey! You know what the And what did I do now? Uh -huh. What did I do now? I just told her the truth. What did I do now? The truth. Oh, yeah, come on. Continue washing. Mama, I wash the plate. Uh -huh. But you have to tell this good Samaritan of your daughter. Look at my You are still talking. Look at this! You have to tell this good Samantha of your daughter to leave Papa. Are you serious? Oh, sorry. Ma okay, sorry. You have to end it. Mama, you Mama. have to end it. <laughs> Mama, what? Your father is not around, so you have to be guided. Be mindful of the things you say. Because I will slap you, and nothing will happen. Look at her. Mama, no, Mama, Bogo. Silly girl. Talkative. You two have an opinion. I'm talking, you are talking. I don't blame you now. Papa has spoiled this girl now. Papa has spoiled her. Let me, let me, let me arrange her. Let, let me just arrange her now. Let me repair you. Are you mad? Please leave her. No respect. Hmm. Look at her. You two, you want to have an opinion. I'm talking, you are talking. No respect. 
Oh, you can't go on. Retaliate. Beat her back. Mama, I didn't do anything. You were running. See, respect yourself. It's not everything you hear, you talk. What did you call? I'm going to be again. Oh, he, he, oh, 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 my trip to Abuja was very, very fine and successful. Um, <clears throat> I came back just yesterday afternoon, you know, and um, as for my son, he was very fine when I left him at Abuja. That's good. That's good. Anyway, um, Your Majesty, so how was the marriage ceremony of our prince? You know, I was to accompany you for that ceremony. But because of the exigency of things in my family, I had to travel to Abuja. Uh, so as I'm back, I felt it wise to come and ask you how far the ceremony went. And um, how is our future law? law? Mm. It's your former. The marriage did not work out again. <laughs> Why? My son refused to marry her again. He said that uh, he cannot marry a girl that does not have uh, respect or regard to anyone just because she feels that uh, she's a princess and she comes from a royal family. Just like that? Just like that, it's your father. And then. Uh, I saw reasons in what he was saying. He said that the girl is arrogant. That we could not control her. And if you look at it from what he has seen himself, I will not force him to marry a lady that cannot live comfortably with him. Just because uh, she feels that she is a princess and... Uh, uh, the future queen of this kingdom. As we cannot control her, it can only cause immunity between me and her father's family. That's all. Your Majesty, I think your decision is wise. You know, in issues of uh, marriages, it's always good for the people concerned to make their choices. You know, but, uh, guys of nowadays, I don't know what's wrong with them. Just because they are in classy positions, they just misbehave. Anyway, uh, Your Majesty, so what of my prince? I would like to see him. Immediately after that incident, he went back to London. He said he wanted to go and rest and forget about all that happened. They who instructed us to continue to look for a good woman that he will get married to as soon as he comes back. Well, Your Majesty, if you ask me, that was a very good decision he made. You know. As for getting a good woman, we will have to look around. I'm sure we are going to find a nice one that will fit perfectly into the royal family. Oh, wow. Well, you know? <laughs> Uh, but your majesty if i may ask um are you granting me the permission to bring any girl i deem fit for that particular position you know to bring her to the palace for you to assess sure you see it's very very sure as long as she is a nice and good woman ah uh, your Majesty, you know me. That is my area of specialization. <laughs> I've done that several in the past. So I will look around and uh, certainly I will give you adequate feedback. Hmm? Uh, but I would like to take my leave now. And please do give my regards to my Lord. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. One for the room, Your Majesty. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thank you very much. Mamuche. No. Mamuche. Huh? Are you going out? Yeah, so. Okay. Huh? I'm done working at your farm. Ha! You mean you finished clearing that plant? I cleared everywhere. Hi! Hey, I, I cleared everywhere. You're very strong boy. Mamuche, the truth is, I need the money urgently. That's why yeah. I have to do the work very fast. Hey. The money? Uh. How much I cleared everything. You go there, everything is completely cleared. Uh, you start, I uh, hold this one. Huh? You can go there, okay? Eh? Hi! Uh, how much you? Uh, this is not the agreed amount now. We uh, agreed 5,000. Uh, I think it's 3,000. I remembered VGD. See, hold this one. Eh? I'll go and survive the land. I'll go and check if you've worked it, you know, cleared very properly. Mamma, eh, I'll go and do What check. are you talking about? We had an agreement. Eh, you don't look at it. Mamma, 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 don't do this now. Here? Eh? Mom, do, 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 you, you, don't you know how big that farm is? Hey, I, I told you I, I needed the money all urgently. Okay, my son, if you don't want this one, give it to me. Eh? I mean, say, tell me, please, tell, tell me when am I coming to get the balance? What, 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 what nonsense is this? You saw me walking in that farm, you know how big that farm is. I've been working since how many days now? And now you, 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 you don't want to pay me my complete money. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll go and survive this next morning. After surviving, I'll go now. I said I've cleared the farm. Let us go now, you see. I will pay your money. Let me go and take it to myself. Meanwhile, I have a partner. I'll go and take it to myself. I'll go and take it to myself. I'll go and take it to myself. Oh, my son. How are you? How is London? We are fine here. Yes, your mother is fine too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your sister? No, she has not come back. I spoke with her a few days ago, but she said uh, she will soon be back home. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. No, 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 no. Not at all. Yes, I would like her to serve in this state. Not? That cannot be. I will not allow her to serve in the north. Oh. <laughs> the woman you will marry. I am still searching. The moment I found one, I will let you know. That's my son. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Ah. He is in a high expectation. Mm. Adelie, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What happened? I don't know why people are so wicked and heartless. I don't know. <sighs> Tell me, what happened? Some people just find pleasure in making other people feel bad. You remember that woman I told you? The woman I told you wanted me to clear her farm. Oh yeah, the one that said you were going to clear the farm for this year's cultivation. Yes. So what about her? I cleared the entire farm. Okay. And? This woman has refused to pay me my complete money. Oh no. After working so hard, after suffering for her, I cleared the entire bush for that little money I charged her and she couldn't even give me the money. After suffering for this woman, after clearing the entire bush, she asked me to come back a day after tomorrow. How much is the money? It's okay. It's okay. Please. Odile. 
calm down. I understand how you feel. I know this 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 really hurts. <sighs> but just relax, okay? This is not the end of the world. I mean, it's not the worst thing that can happen to you or that has happened to I you. I told your father I'll give him the rent money. I know. And I expected this woman to pay me my complete money so I can pay your father. I know. I know. Just relax. And now I won't be able to do that because she has disappointed me. Um, okay. I, I am going to think of something. Okay. I, I will do something about that. I don't need you to worry. Okay. I will handle this. But first you need to cheer up. Cheer up. Is this the reason your face is as though the worst has happened? This is not that serious. Relax. I will handle this. Okay? Okay, so what do you have in this bag? Hmm? I stopped over at the market to get some things for okra soup. So? I don't like making promises. Oh. I don't like making promises and not keeping to my not words. Again. Your father is going to think I'm not a serious human being. <sighs> but your father is going to think I'm not responsible. Odili, calm down. I know. That's why I'm here. I'll take care of this. Okay? Cheer up. Can we go cook now? Most of this okra, most of them are old, like very strong. Kalong, good afternoon, sir. Sir. I hope you do not use my money for uh, use the money for my house rent to buy all this ice fish to prepare this nursing soup. Huh? No, no, sir. Now you listen to me. If by tomorrow you don't pay me my house rent, you will say on that side of me. I don't want any story. Tomorrow, I don't want any story. If you don't pay me my house rent by tomorrow, you will say on that side of me. Huh, Papa. Is, is, is it food that somebody wants to eat that you're calling calling rubbish? Uh -huh. How is this rubbish? Is it not cross? Who is this one talking? Huh? Who is this one talking? I am talking and they are talking back at me. Okay? You can't believe it, bro. Obo, obo. You are Yeah. Go to. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm I'm helping him to cook the okra. You came to do what? To cook. I say what? You came to help her cook soup, okra soup. I say cook. Huh? Oh, yeah? You say, Pa, you came to help her cook. I say cook. Ma, get out of this place. I say get out. Are you still here? The camera. Yeah, this boy. How did you move on your leg? She's just helping me cook. She's just helping you cook. As a husband and wife, any you wife, help helping you cook. As a husband and wife, yeah, yeah, all the day, all the day, hey, 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 all the It's okay. Don't worry. By tomorrow, just it's all right. Listen, if by tomorrow you don't pay me my money, if by tomorrow you don't pay me my money, you will stand that side of me. We shall see. Yeah, only yeah, only yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to die just like that? I want to be feminine. I called you in the presence of your mother here to tell us the meaning of that thing I saw you being out there with all the lay. Huh. 
<sighs> Papa, I don't understand what you're talking about. See, don't even pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. What is that thing I was doing with Odili? Honestly, me, I don't understand you. I don't know what you're talking about, Papa. What was it I was doing? Eh. Hey. Eh. Hey. Woman, talk to your daughter before I lose it. Talk to your daughter before I lose it. Huh. Ma. It's about the cooking of soup you and Odele was doing today. That's all. That is it. As simple as that. Just because I was cooking soup with Odili or okay. cooking soup for Odili is not an offense. How is that supposed to be a crime? What is the big deal in me helping a fellow human being to cook soup? Helping Odili to cook as a what? As your husband or what? Papa, so it's only my husband I can help to cook in this life. Somebody has to be my husband for me to show to, to show love and, and, and cook. Something as simple as cooking. Papa Biko, I know you have your differences with Odili. I know of the existing problems. But please do not bring me into your rent fight with Odili. I agree you brought him into this company as your tenant. But don't mix me up in the, in the fight. Uh -uh. Please, I'm not enemies with him because he's owing you. I can always help him uh, however, however I can, in any little way I can. Did you hear your daughter? Is it not clear to you now that both of them have something in common? Hey! Ha, Papa! So you're suggesting that me and Odili have something in common? Oh, okay. What is that thing that I will possibly have in common with Odili? What is that thing? You're asking me. You're asking me. Now you listen to me. Listen to me. Pray that my suspicion doesn't come to you. Else, I will cut off your head. Woman, hey. talk to your daughter. Talk to your daughter. Ah, nah, it hasn't gotten to that now. Eh? Yeah. Hey. Ah. Oh, Nine. Mama. Oh, Nine, Chupo. Mama. Oh. <laughs> what your father is saying is true. Mm. Before, Uncle. I'm not saying that both of you are doing anything. Yes. You have to be very careful of your closeness with Odile. Oh. Odima. Remember, Odile is a man. Mm. And he has blood running in his vein. Mm -hmm. I don't want any stories tomorrow. You know your father. What he's saying is not a threat. But be careful. I've heard you. Onye, Mama. How many times have I called you? Ten times. Be very, very careful. Oh. All this warning. <sighs> all this ganging up and, and meeting. Just because I cooked for a fellow human being. Mama, please, I've not done anything wrong here for all of you to be warning me up and down. Papa is warning you too, you are warning. What is it? I've not done anything wrong. My hands are clean. My mm. conscience is clear. Yes. There's nothing wrong in me. Cooking for Odili. Yes. Oh. Your legs are clean. Your head are clean. So you want us to wait until you have anything to do with him before we warn you. Mama, but let me ask you a question. What is that thing that I will possibly have to do with him? Because I me, I don't know. know. No, you should know now. You should know. You call me too, I don't know. Oh. He's coming. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's no sir. Did you come with my money? Uh uh. My answer your greetings first. The only greetings I want to hear from him now is my money. Good money. Money. Ha. Ah. Mm. Oh. Sir, take. How much is there? 
sir. I said, how much is that? Is that seven hundred? So it's four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. For the rent. But I told you that you must complete the money for ten months. And this today, this month is almost twenty-eight. Ten days to end, and you are giving me four thousand dollars. My friend, complete my money ten months. Nay, collect the one he has given to you now, and give him some time. Why must I collect this one? I told him this before now. You see, you see why I was telling you that I can't hold this boy. That he can never fulfill his promises. Have you seen it now? Instead of three months, he's giving me two months. What the complete mammon you? Huh. Um, Adele. Give me the money. Give it to me. Give me. Go. Go. I say go. Yeah. Why did you collect that money from him? My, because I need to buy food stuffs for this house. <laughs> Imagine the man that fell from top of the pantry two years ago and died. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, how is your mother? She's fine. Good. It's okay, please, you will help me tell your mother mm, that I would like to come and see both of you in the evening. Yeah, no, there's no problem. Umbano, there's no problem at all. I'm coming to see you for very good reason. Okay. Hmm? All right. All right. Send me word to her. Huh? Okay. What are you saying? I'm not saying you. Just ask my name and who my parents are. I told him he said he would come and see us later this evening. What for? I wouldn't know until he comes. Anyway, you know he has a son in Abba. Maybe he wants his son to marry. Him. God forbid. Chukwaju. Yeah. No way now. He is below my class. He is not up to standards. Are you possible? Am I? Which class are you talking about? I mean, I don't know the class. Is this not you? He is not the one talking. Don't be talking. Class. You are welcome once more. Thank you. There's a good one. <laughs> my daughter gave me your message that you were coming to see us. I hope there is no problem. Mm -hmm. Because I can't remember the last time you visited since uh, my husband died. Agnes, there is no problem at all. In fact, I came here for very good reason. Yes. Yes, and uh, it's something very good. Thank God you said uh, it's something very good. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, before I proceed, where is your daughter? Because uh, the reason I'm here has something to do with your daughter. Yeah. Yes. My daughter is inside. Ah, come here. Amara Chuku. Amara. Mama. Please come. Welcome. How are you? Um, now that your daughter is here. I will go straight to the reason I'm here. Yeah. Yes. Um, I want to ask you a question, Agnes. How will you feel if you become the in-law to our Igwe? Hey. 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 Amara, okay. how will you feel if you are referred to as the future law of this kingdom? Mm -hmm. That is the wife of the prince. <laughs> it's a, trust me, you want to know. <laughs> hey, former. You see, the Igwe sent me a message. You see, the prince of this kingdom, our prince, is in London as we speak. Before he left, he gave an instruction for the Igwe to look for a very nice girl, a homely girl, well brought up. 
uh, to be groomed until he comes back so that uh, he can marry her as a wife. And um, you know I'm very close to the Igwe. He's my personal friend. So the Igwe gave me the job to look for that particular girl. So that is why I am here to see you. Ichi, all this you just said, how does it concern my family? <laughs> now let me tell you how it concerns your family. Amara here growing up, you know, I've been watching her. I saw the way you brought her up. And particularly after the death of the father two years ago, I noticed that you were able to handle her properly and she's now a grown-up girl, very beautiful and um, good-mannered. And that is why I've chosen her to be the wife of our prince. <laughs> God will bless you for remembering my poor family. Amen. Hey, Chi, thank you. Thank you so much for choosing me. I've been the beauty of me. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hey. Hey. Chi, for doing this for my poor family, hmm? Hmm. whatever you ask for, whatever you ask for from me, eh? I will do it. Mm. Yes. Whatever I ask for. Anything I ask for, you will do. Ask for anything. I will do it. <laughs> to start, let me have a cup of water. Uh, uh, that one is a very small thing. Get him water to drink. You are welcome once more. You said whatever I ask for. Anything I ask for. You will give me. <laughs> Iche, uh, that's a small thing. Really? I'm telling you. A former. <laughs> I can handle it. You, you see, you know nothing goes for nothing. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yes. And from your response, I can see that you're very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We are one in this life. We are all home. Stop looking down at me. Do you want me to die just like that? I will rock with the man. Why do you look so confused? Now, this assignment they give us without giving teaching us any civil tip on the Facebook. They didn't teach you all the things they know in your head. They did in uh, Let me see. Here. This one is very complicated. Um why why don't you tell um all they need to help you do it? Yeah? What does he even know? Did you finish the last? Put down your voice. Did you even finish primary school? Talk more of going to the secondary school gates. Oh, hold on. Take your book and fix it yourself. Oh, oh, look. You don't know the person that knows you will not make the person teach you. See, do you remember that my assignment I had 49 over 50? Mm -hmm. It was all Dilly that helped me. Uh-uh. Mm. Hey, serious? Don't touch me. How come now? How come now? Because he knows. People like that cannot even stoop too low to have something to do my son. Let me fail. It's okay. Happy failing. Enjoy. Enjoy your failure. What am I even still sitting here doing? We are one in this life. We are all home. Stop looking down at me. Do you want me to die just like that? What is it? What do you mean? What bothers you? 
I have a lot of things on my head right now. I have so much bothering me. Things like what? Is this my father's room? I need some money to take care of some things. To take care of things like what again? You see, your father's rent is not the only problem I have. I have other problems I need to sort out. Who is the elegant looking beautiful lady beside you? <laughs> Your Majesty, I will go straight to the reason we are here. If you recall, there was a time we discussed about the woman that our prince will marry. After the first incident, yes. um, and uh, you granted me the permission to look for a nice maiden in our kingdom who has all the qualities required for you know the wife of our prince as a royal. Yeah, and um, the whole idea is for him to marry her when he returns from London. Can you remember? Yes, yes, I do. I do remember. Any good news? Your Majesty, you can trust me. Here is Amara. She's from this kingdom. Um, she's well-mannered, well-brought up, from a very good home. I did my homework. I did due diligence. You know, so she has all the qualities that is needed, you know, to be the wife of our prince. That's right. That's um, right. As you can see, she's ravishingly beautiful, don't you think? That's <laughs> it. It's your former. Your Majesty. Once again, you are welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> You are on the right path. Yes. Young lady, who are your parents? My king. I am the daughter of Agnes, late Mazin Jemanzi's wife. In German, sir. In German, sir. In German, sir. Your Majesty. Mazin Jemanzi. Was that Pan Wine Tapa who fell from top of the palm tree about two years ago and died? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now I remember. Now I remember. Um, young lady, you heard what the uh, true former said. Are you prepared to get married to my son, the prince of this kingdom? When he returns from London. Yes, my king. I'm very, very prepared. As a matter of fact, I love him already. Come down. <laughs> Young lady, say, come down. Don't rush. <laughs> How can you love someone that you have not come in contact with? Huh? <laughs> you know That's just by the way. I will get in touch with my son on phone. And I'll tell him about the situation here. And also inform my queen, the lord of this kingdom. We will now decide on what should be done later. Two issue of former here. He will get in touch with you. Okay? Thank you, my Thank you. Thank you, my Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you
and that is the proper thing to do. So uh, we would like to take our leave now. So, All right. So, uh, my regards to your precious family. Thank you, Majesty. Yes. And my regards to Lolo. I will let her know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's be watching. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Where do you want to know? Hmm, I want to know now. I just... I just want to know you beyond just being my father's tenant. Just nothing, just... My name is Odile. Mm -hmm. I know your name. I'm a graduate of business administration. I'm from a very poor background. My father sold all he had just to see me through school because he wanted the best education for me. But unfortunately, my father is dead now. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, so you're a graduate? Yes, I am. <sighs> wow. No wonder you were able to help me with my assignments the other day. But I'm just, I'm just wondering. You could get a job in the city with your certificate as a graduate. I mean, you could get any job. So why choose to come to this village to do many jobs when you can, you can get a job, a, a, a good job in the city? You're right. I mean, securing a job in the city with my qualification is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But how do I go about it? How do I cater for myself in the city? Where do I get money to rent an apartment? How do I pay for the accommodation? You know how expensive the city is. I can't afford it. That answers your question. Yeah, I... I understand. I know how things can get. Whew. Wow. Please, can I get some food? I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Um, there's there's food in the house, but um, I would like you to go to your room so that I can sneak the food into your room. <laughs> you see this sister of mine <laughs> over there? Her mouth can run like a tap, so it's best she doesn't even know. Thank you very much. Um, so you you go in and Sister Me, what were you discussing with that fool? Hmm? Judith, and who are you calling a fool? You know who I'm talking about. Are you serious? What is your business? Eh? Hey! Hey, sister, you be careful, you know? Are you mad? Oh, you don't need your mate again, eh? 
You don't know your mate, okay? This young man is put in trouble. Don't worry. Are you sure this thing will work? What do you mean by am I sure this thing will work? I can't understand you. Are you sure the prince will marry me if he comes back? Because I, I don't understand the, the way the king sounded. It was not too convincing. Look, don't worry yourself. Huh? Relax. You, you heard him. In fact, when he talked about your rushing, I defended you. I said, young children of these days, they rush. Huh? And now he has promised that he will call the son. Huh? You think the king will waste his time and credit to call the son if he's not uh, in approval of what uh, you know what to plan? So just relax. Relax. You're already the princess. <laughs> if I'm very soon, I expect you to be moving and walking. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> You mean my daughter, Amara Chibu, will become the future law law of this kingdom? Or he live? <laughs> Agnes, it is settled. <laughs> In fact, a few months from now, the prince will be returning from London and everything will begin to happen. 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 Go to bed. 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 Go to Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to Go to bed. I want to start dressing as a princess already. Oh. So that when the prince comes back, he will desire me more. What do you think? Agnes, you, you, you see, this is your smartness. You have transferred, transmigrated. In fact, you have, you, you have inculcated it into your daughter. You can see the smartness. You are very correct. By the time he comes, he will now see royalty. You know, royalty meets royalty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's you. I like what both of you just said. But the problem is, I don't have money to buy such dresses for her. You know our condition since my husband died. Even to eat. Agnes, look, I don't like it when you embarrass me. You're embarrassing me. Look, I am a former. I have money. I will take care of all this. In fact, I will provide a special budget for it. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, wait. With all the things, you know. Why would it? Oh, God. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. People can go inside. And I will do more. More. Mama, take him inside. Ah, come on. It's not for this. You are still busy. Remember, you are still busy. Go inside. Go inside. I'm going to go inside. Me and she go inside. I want to talk to him. Go inside, go inside. Go inside, let me talk to him. Let me talk to a chair. Go inside, let me talk to a chair. I know you like inside. Um, like I said, Mama, I'll be going back to the city tomorrow. And I don't know if there's any other thing for me to do. Because I don't want you people to lack anything. My son. Mama. 
you have tried so much Thank you, mm? no. just uh, Judith's school fees and on the here lesson fee that's not an issue now I've already settled that eh? uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. paid now. you people did not tell me he has paid now who now have the house the moon car yeah um, thank, you. thank you thank you so much my son yeah uh -huh. Be a real man. Oh, yeah, and Judith. So I'm free now. No. Eh? When you came home, why are you squeezing your face like that? Now? <laughs> the phone you promised me. Oh, phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about laptop? <laughs> you don't want a laptop. But I only made that promise yesterday now, eh? Brother, you should have the laptop. <laughs> no, no, leave the laptop. Don't worry, when, I, when next I'm coming, eh? I'll buy you. Via Samsung. Mm -hmm. Not Samsung. No, 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 no. I'll buy an Apple phone. <laughs> no, pineapple phone. <laughs> no, 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 are you not done listening to me? No, no. Uh, uh, Judith. Uh, uh, she's a man answer me at that. She's like a sister now. She needs to be pumped. Uh, uh, what really should buy a laptop? I don't hear a mercy. So, when both of you came to see me this hot afternoon, is there any problem? No, no problem, my queen. <laughs> we came to beg you for something very important. I mean, Ugo and I. Mm. Mm. What could that be? <laughs> Please, our adorable queen, the future queen of this great kingdom. Please, we came to beg you for you to employ us as your maidens. So we'll be following you about anywhere you go. You girls want to become my maiden and my husband's royal home? Yes, yes. I mean. Ah! I'm sorry, our dear queen, the future queen of this great kingdom. Mm. Please forgive me. We'll do whatever you want. We'll make your bed, we'll make your food, mm. we'll even oh. worship you, we'll bow to your food. Uh. Yes. I'll think about it. I beg of you, there's nothing to think about. You know us now, we are good girls. Mm. Just accept us. I promise, we'll wash your clothes, we'll make your food. Okay, you whatever you want, we'll do it for you. We'll even bow to your feet, please. Yes. Just, just accept us. Equal. Please, Equal. please. It's okay. I'll take you girls, but, but you have to bring 10,000 naira each for me to use and make your royal maiden attire. You know you guys cannot follow me about looking like this. That is not a problem. As for me, immediately I get home, I'll bring my own money. Hmm? Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Amara. Mama? I overheard your discussion with your friends. Is there any problem? Are you a fool? How can you accept those girls just like that? So you don't know it's a real business? Huh? Business? How? Oh. Quickly. But when you left, I realized I made a huge mistake. I hope there is no problem, our queen. Thing is, since you left, almost the entire girls in this community have visited my house with huge amount of money begging me to take them as my maidens. But you know me now, I have a good heart. A Zibo mother camp. I said no. You both are my friends. At least let me call you back to know your minds. My friends have Please, eh, with, with the way you're talking, I know money is involved. Yeah. So, tell us, how much are we talking about here? Yes, tell us. Oh, me. Well, like I said, you my friends. And I wouldn't want to bill you. Let's look at, um, maybe a token of 25,000 Naira each. As for me, it's okay by me. I don't have a problem with that. I don't know about it. Uh, I've, I've heard you. Yeah. What's my point? If I may speak, please. Why not let us pay 15-15,000 each? Because we still pay money for the maiden's school and we still pay money for sewing it. So please, just, just, just think about it. My princess, 
since I was born. And now I'm getting old. I've not set my eyes on 5,000 naira before. Uh, what I can afford is 5,000 naira. Uh, and the money for the clothes, like Messi rightly said. Or still guinea. 5,000 guinea. Mba. Eji yakara. Messi. My queen. Consider yourself one of my royal maidens. Thank you, my queen. I salute you. And as for you, since I was young, till now I'm getting old. Matisalem. Get out of my compound! It's five thousand. Leave! It's five thousand. It's five thousand. It's less poor thing. My queen, take on God. My queen, please take it easy with her. You know they don't have enough. I don't want to get angry with you too. Thank you. Thank you, my queen. Bye. Go. Go away for me. Wretched thing. You want to inflict my compound with your poverty self? Nonsense. Teacher, you made me you go. Now, why are you walking out so angry? Why would I walk away? Why would I walk out? No, tell me, why would I walk away? Did you see the way she spoke to me? Must she insult me because they told her that she will marry the prince when he comes back? What if the marriage does not hold? Ah, what you kill on me? What is wrong with you? What do you want to say before you get yourself into trouble? See, whether you like it or not, Amara will be the future queen of this kingdom. Digwe has confirmed it. My friend, all you need to do is to look is to look for a way alternative to raise your own money. As for me, tomorrow I'll raise my own money or this evening I'll go and give it to her. Just hurry up before another girl takes your position. Yeah, let them take it. Who cares? Look at this one. Oh. What, what, what is wrong with you, Gochi? Look at the girl I'm, I'm, I'm even trying to help. Look at her like balloon. Anyway, that is your problem. Tomorrow I'll go and pay my own money. Lele, somebody I... I, I, I Basil, you're welcome. Don't welcome me, Odili. I have come to collect my money. <sighs> oh, Basil, I told you I'll pay you now. Calm down. You now. told me you paid me. I, I, I told you I'll pay you. I've given you enough time. And I'm tired of you dribbling me and making promises and failing. But you're my friend. Listen to me. See, if you don't give me that money now, we go to the place where I solve that affair. I, I am your friend. I'm going to the police station who we'll solve anything. Now, me. Well, you are whose friends? Oh. Are you from this community or are you related to me in any way? So because you asked me to borrow you money and I borrowed you that money, you think you're my friend? Basi, calm down. Please shut up! <laughs> if you know what is good for you now, before I call my bride to come and pick you up, pay me that money now! Uh, okay, just wait and see. You see what will happen to you now. Excuse me, please. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Basil. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help but to listen to your quarrel. I mean, your voice was loud enough, so I, I heard everything. See, he has actually pleaded with you well enough. But you seem to have made up your mind on what you want to do. But come on, going to the police will not help anyone. Even if you go there, you still spend money. It doesn't matter whether your brother is the DPO of that station. But that's by the way. Please, how much does he owe you? My money is 7,000 Naira. 7,000? Yes. Uh, Odili, you heard him. Is that how much you owe him? Um, yes, but... I, I, I... No, 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 but don't worry. Um, I'll be back in... I'll be back shortly. Please, your voice. Tell her to come bring that money for me. Basil, mind yourself, bro. Take your time. You, take your time. Hey, brother, I, I, I've helped you. What you're doing is not good. I thought you were my friend. Who's your friend? You're coming here to scream Who's at me. Shut up! Because I got money from you. What's oh. your problem? Oh, because you came to me and asked me to borrow you, money. I borrowed you the money. She's bringing your money. Come down, my friend. friend. Are you from this country? Oh, please, 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 get out. Mr. Mr. Anyway, please, please shut up. Not Bola. Excuse me, sir. Please. There's no point making noise in my compound. Okay. Take your money and get out. Your stupid money. You just think you're gonna save you. What would you have done? Please, it's okay, Mr. Abbas. Father, Father Abraham, Abraham. Okay. tie your beard. It's okay, it's okay. Okay? Um, Judy, let's go.
Hmm? What was the meaning of what you just did now? What was what? That I helped someone, a human being. Oh. What's wrong with that? You helped. Yes. You have a problem with that? Hmm, no. <coughs> Let's go then. I don't know your plans in this house, but whatever evil plans you have against this family, you will not succeed. We are one in this life. We are all holy. Stop looking down at me. Do you want me to die just like that? I will rock with the man. Agnes, are you telling me that there is a girl? A group of girls in this kingdom that have the, the, the audacity, the, the, the temerity, uh, I mean the impetus to, to, to insult Amala. I will have to you. Is that what you're telling me? Eche, if you are asking me this question, it's making me to go more crazy. If you are speaking of this grammar, eh? you're making me to go more crazy. I just told you what happened. And now here speaking grammar, impetus. What we need now is solution. Um, take it easy now. Hmm? What will be? Young guy is too much. I, I'm not the one who did it. Hmm? Don't worry. I, I will prefer a solution. In fact, I will find a solution to it. Whatever you want to yes. do, eh? Do it very fast. Hmm. Do it quick. Okay. In hand, I hmm. In fact. I have a solution. You do? Yes. Just spell it out. I suggest my daughter move into the palace and stay there. Oh. Yes. Let her stay in the palace till the, the prince comes. Since Igor has accepted her to be the, the, the future queen, the, the, the prince or wife, let her go there and stay. I think that will save all this embarrassment. Hey! Hmm. Agnes, you see, I, I've always known that you are very smart. No wonder you captured my heart. <laughs> Don't worry. I will go and meet Igwe. Eh? I will convince him. I will make sure Amara moves into the palace. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'll do it. Iche, mm. You have to do that though. Yeah. Do that and do it very fast. Okay. If not, you will not have me again. Ah, uh, uh, Agnes. Uh, it doesn't come to that. You, you don't need to threaten me. I've told you I will meet the ego. Don't worry, it's like you didn't meet me again. I'm a formal. I have solution to all problems. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, if you do that, that means you are going to have me to the rest of your life. You will have me forever. Look, I have already had you forever. Yes, because I have done it. <laughs> Take it to the bank. I. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What you are trying to tell me now is that uh, I should allow the said girl to move into the palace and uh, live with us. Exactly, Your Majesty. I am of the opinion that uh, our prince will be so delighted to come home and meet his future wife, our future Lolo, you know. Moreover, I think it is important that uh, she comes in here, understudy the people around, learn royalty, so that uh, by the time the prince comes back, he will be meeting royalty. Huh? <laughs> oh, my precious, beautiful queen. Do you have anything to say or add to what uh, the former said? <clears throat> Your Majesty, you know you have the final say in this. Though I don't know the girl in question because I have not met her. But if you ask me, 
I will say I agree with what each of them I just said now. Oh. So that we'll have time to study the girl, know her very well. And of course, you know the kind of a woman our son needs for a wife. Yes, sure. Sure. Ah. It's your former. Thank you very much for this wonderful idea of yours. We have heard what you said. And uh, we have to get in touch with our son for him to know the situation around us now. And after that, we can now know when the girl will move in. And live with us. Thank you once again. <laughs> you are very correct, Your Majesty. You know, considering the what happened in the past, he also will be anxious. And the girl staying in the palace means that uh, by the time he returns, he will be meeting royalty. Eh? <laughs> Don't forget what happened in the other case that he eventually did not marry her. Thank you very much. Man. It's your fault. <laughs> I will miss on You can trust me. Come here. For the past few days I came back home. I noticed you've not gone for lesson. Oh. And this morning, you've not even made an attempt of leaving this house. Why now? See, brother, just... Let's forget this matter. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Huh? Nothing now, nah, brother, nothing. Ah. Why are you telling me nothing? Why have you not gone ah, for brother, lesson? Brother, which one's now? It's like you have a, an already built-up opinion. You have, is there an answer you're expecting? I've said nothing, nothing, nothing. You're still asking. Brother, you cannot say anything to you. Even if you ask her from now to next month. Ha! Judith, what do you mean by that? Brother, because brother, she, she has not... You need to let me talk. Brother, she has not paid for her lesson fees. What do you mean she has not paid for her lesson fees? I remember the last time I came back home. I gave you your school fees and I gave her a lesson fee. So what happened to the money? Brother, she... What happened to the money now? She she used the money you gave her to uh, bail the lay out. Hmm? The day the person was there, he came here with poli um, police to arrest him. So she, she stole near the good Samaritan used the money you gave her for the lesson fees. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> What Judith is saying, is it true? Eh? Answer me, answer me, eh? What did she say? What she's saying, is it true? I did not hear anything, I was not here. What did you say? <coughs> uh, uh, Judith, <coughs> is Papa hey, and Mama aware of this? Papa is not aware, but I told Mama she didn't say anything. <sighs> it's alright, it's alright, no problem. No trouble, you can go. You can go. You can go. Ichi, you mean everything is settled now? Agnes, I don't know why you don't trust me. Don't you know what I'm capable of doing? Eh? No. Very soon. <laughs> Your daughter Amara. We move into the palace as the prince's wife and our future queen. <laughs> Look, I told you I was going to sort out everything. Hmm? Hey, you said it. 
and you did it. Because it's you. That is why I always talk about you. I wish you were my husband. Hmm. It's like you people are. Uh, uh, the two of us are doing what? Uh, even at that, uh, we are doing it for your own good. Instead of you to be happy, you are here uh, saying what I don't understand. I am happy, yo. Oh. I am happy. Uh, what do you think? I am extremely happy. I can't wait to break this good news to Ugochi. Oh, please. Leave that wretched girl. My queen, please forgive her. I have a special message for you. Let us go inside. Special message. <laughs> you see, I like messages. But I love special messages. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Hey, this boy will not kill me. Hmm? I won't kill you, my friend. Shut up! See my mother blush, blushing <laughs> like a small girl. So you mean Amara is going into the palace? As the prince's wife and the future queen of this kingdom. You bro, why are you surprised? No, it, it baffles me that you're still surprised. When I was telling you to pay your to pay your money, you refused, saying that the, the, the prince might not lie her. Look at it now. Maybe she's no oh, please help me beg Amara to take me. I am ready to pay the money now. I'm ready. My dear. You know Amara has smelling attitude. I'll talk to her, but I'm not promising anything. Hey, meh You know we are good friends, so. Henry, you can't leave me behind. Please help me beg Amara to take me back. Just help me beg her. Oh, maybe cool. I have to join you. I can't be in this village and you people will just go to the palace, so. The apple meh ba. Ngochi, look at you begging. No, the other day, just the other day here, you were, your mouth was so sharp. Who cares? The prince might not even marry her. Who did she think she is? Now, look at you. Begging, please, sir. Uh, you will not leave me behind. Anyway, I know you're silly, but you're still my friend. I'll, I'll beg her. I'll talk to her for you. Hi. Thank you very much. <laughs> Help me talk to her. Oh, oh hi. hi. I need to join you because I need to join you before I come. It's so okay. Here. Let's go. Let's go home, girl. Oh, oh, please help me. Help me. Melt Amara's heart so that she can forgive me and take me back. Hey. Mama, be cool. Mama, please, I want you to help me. Initially, I thought it was a lie. Until I saw Mercy today. And she told me that the Igwe has accepted Amara as the prince's wife and the future queen of this kingdom. Mama, you know what it means to be a maid in the palace. So, Mama, I'll be moving to the palace and I want to be part of them. Go to my daughter. Mama. It is a good thing to live in the palace as a queen maid. Because it is an honor. But are you sure this is real? Mama, this is for real. You know, I've never lied to you before. I swear it's for real, Mama. Why I'm saying all this is because I don't want to hear stories tomorrow. Mm -mm. No stories. It's alright. I will give you the money. <gasps> but not now. To be tomorrow. I look for somewhere to find you. Thanks for what I'm Papa, Mama, there is something I observed this morning that I'm still finding it difficult to understand. And I want you, my father and my mother, to tell me. When last Onye here 
went to lesson? Well, my son, I don't really know. But all I can tell you now is that for some time, Winya has not gone to lesson. And what about you, Mama? Well, it's up to one week. She went for lesson last. But Winya is here. Why not ask her to tell you herself? Mama, the question is, did you, her parent, bother to ask her her reasons for not going to lesson? Because if you did, obviously, you would have known her reasons. Judith here told me that Onye here used her lesson fee to give to that useless boy called Odile. Simply because his debtor threatened to arrest him with the police. And because of that, she has not paid her fees and she has not been going for lesson. Onye, is it true? Ujak, are you aware of it? Before Judith here told me, Onine has already done that. And when I asked her to tell me the reason she did it, she did not give me any good reason. Ha! And Nai, you know Onine Chi, your daughter. She can use her last kobo to solve another person's problem and leave her own behind. We cannot change her. It's her life. Hi! Hi! Let you come to me, you boy. You na malam na ba makanwa. Amalam na ba makanwa. Eh? Thank God, I have Judith, my lovely daughter. I think she's not as, as, as useless as we need. I want to go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. My daughter, come. 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 You, eh? You are not even afraid to, 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 to take her position. And the man. Don't worry. Be a good girl, as you are. Eh? And make sure you don't behave like her. Eh? Anything you want in this life. I will get it for you. I will buy it for you. Eh? My lovely daughter. Oh, what class. Eh? Uh -huh. Good. Opali. Opali. Do what? Opashi. Papa. Mama. Brother, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for what I did. I am not. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I didn't have a choice. I couldn't bear to watch him being arrested by the police. Over something I know that I could be of help. That's why I gave him my, my fees. I'm so sorry, Papa. I'm sorry for letting you all down. But he promised. He promised he's going to pay back. I'm sorry. Onye. I am disappointed at you. Now that you have used your fees to solve his own problem, how do you intend to solve yours? How do you intend to write your jump? He will pay back. Now listen to me. For no reason will I ever sponsor your education again until you learn how to be reasonable. And by the way, what is that boy's mission in this house? Huh? My son, don't worry. Just relax, don't worry. I know what to do. I want it. Don't worry. Odili, I called you here this morning to inform you that I'm giving you two weeks to look for a house elsewhere and pack out. I don't know what's your mission in this house. You have caused us a lot of problems. But brother Samson, hey, 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 hey. Quiet, quiet your face. I don't want to listen to you. I do not want to hear anything from you. Now you listen to me. 
I do not want to go and come back and meet you in this house next time. Else, you will not like what I will do to you. Brother Samson, how am I causing I have told you. We are one in this life. We are all home. Stop looking at me. Do you want me to die? Just like that. I will repeat the man. Audrey, I overheard all my son was telling you. Don't worry, you are not going anywhere. I will talk to him and my husband. Eh? Just make sure you pay your rent when due. Do you hear me? Yes, ma. I heard all you said. I promise to pay my rent. I promise not to disappoint you. It's okay. Huh? Just make sure you do whatever I ask you to do. We are one in this life. We are all home and stop looking down at me. We are one in this life. We are all home and stop looking down at me. Yes. Yes, your mother is fine. In fact, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Young lady. What is the meaning of this kind of dressing? And who are these things standing behind you? My queen, I, I, I... Just wait a minute, okay? <clears throat> My queen. If she is stop, don't speak for her. Allow her to talk. You heard me very well. So what is the meaning? Um, My queen, the reason is I want to start practicing on how to dress like a princess and the future queen of this land. But if you don't like it, I don't mind. I'll just go and change. It's okay. It's okay. My queen, this is no time for this. She just arrived. Okay? We'll talk about it later. Uh, um, no, sit down. Sit down. Thank you, my queen. Um, it's she. Your majesty. Like I told you on the phone, we have uh, discussed with our son in London and uh, he has given us his permission to allow her come in and uh, stay with us uh, so that we will know her better. Your Majesty, that was a very wise decision by our prince. You see, he is going to like her very much. In fact, he will love her because he's uh, homegrown, well taken care of, well brought up, and on top of that, most importantly, she's a virgin. <laughs> she don't look. Hmm? Uh, Lolo, you can take it to the bank. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, you're welcome. Dad, go and call one of the maidens for me. So that they can take her as well. Yes. Thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> thank you, Your Majesty. Hey, she's already part of
Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Your majesty. <laughs> Look at both of you. You're looking good. <laughs> and Dad is even looking younger. <laughs> you can say that again, my princess. Say it again! <laughs> what is that? Am I not looking younger too? No, tell me. Who? I smell jealousy. I know. I know. Mom, don't tell me you're jealous. <laughs> okay, fine. Mom, you look younger than dad. Are you happy now? Oh. I'll be that. You can say that again. Oh. Now you're talking. Oh. So oh. you look younger than mom. Oh. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Now tell me. Yes, ma'am. Are you trying to tell me that you are now a graduate? That you are done with school? Is that it? Yes, mom. Hey. Your daughter is now a graduate. Hey. Meaning, you will no longer come to tell me, mommy, I need money for this book, I need for mm. that. I need. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <Not at all. laughs> That's nice. Yes, mom. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy, I am happy for you. Just, I am very, very proud of you. Thank you, Dad. We are Thank proud you. of you. We are proud of you. Me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Mom, Dad. Yes. Um, about my youth service. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I would love to serve in this state because before you know it, they will just throw me in one of the northern states. Hmm? Please, Dad, I would want you to work it out for me. I want to serve in this state. Please. <sighs> Is that all you want? Yes, Mom. So that you can be very close to your mom, right? Yes, Mom. Uh, so that just... she can be very close to us. Exactly. Okay, whatever. Consider it done, darling, okay? What? Really? Mm -hmm. <gasps> My princess. Daddy. Consider it. Welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, let me go upstairs and freshen up. Okay, that's. What oh. is that? Um, Mom. Who was that arrogant girl I saw outside when I came back? I saw her dressed like a princess leaving the palace with some maidens following her. Who is she? Um, darling, her name is Amara. She's your brother's wife to be. I mean the prince. What? My brother's wife to be? Where is my brother? Where is the oh. prince? The prince traveled to London a few months ago. Yes. How come nobody told me about it? He didn't even call me on phone. Um, darling, let me tell you what happened. You see, his traveling came as an emergency, so we have to let him go. Yes. But I will explain a lot to you later, okay? Uh, but mom, this is not fair. How can my brother travel and... He didn't even tell me. I just said I will explain yes. to you later. Just be happy because we are happy you are back. <laughs> we are more happy that you are now a full graduate, graduate. from the university. Yes, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll be back soon. Yeah. We are happy you are back. Me too, Dad. Huh? I now have a graduate. Yes, we now have a no, graduate. No, you had one already. Your son, my daughter is now a graduate. But that is the only daughter of the house, and the daughters are more closer to the house. Yes, how much? No, no. 78 pounds is too small now. Okay? It's not even up to the cost price. Okay, fine, this is it. I traveled. When I return, I'll call you. I'll call you now. Calm down. I'll call you. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Only! Only! Brother! Uh, Bigo, please, get me what I will do. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Bro, Samson. Yeah. Um, I'd like to speak to you about something very important. About what? Sit down. Like I said, it's very important. I think I like your sister, Onyinye. She looks like a wife material. So, meaning what? Why are you telling me, telling me this? Because I know you're a young man like me. You will definitely understand. Understand what, suddenly? What do you want me to understand? Huh? You foolishly walked up to me to tell me that you like my sister and me. What did they? Don't you know your level? Eh? And what has that got to do with you? A lot, Samson. You won't understand now. But I'm sure you will later. Adele, let it not be what I'm thinking. Because even in the whole wide world, you will not get it. Just get out of here, Greg. Will you get out of here? I said get out of here! Fool. You have my sister here. Only you know it. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Only you. Give me a bag. Let me see you close to my sister. I'll just remove something from your body. It's here. Agnes. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Please, how did it go? Oh, that question is embarrassing. I am a former. Can you ask me how did it go? Just look at the time. If by this time your daughter is not back, don't you think that I've finished everything? <laughs> eh? <laughs> fact, as I speak with you, eh, your daughter is now royalty. You, you need to see the way she was working there. <laughs> see, I trust you. You are a good man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. How is it going to be? Oh, what can you be asking me that question again? Eh? You know now, I'm not yours. Eh? But wait, let me go home. Eh? I'll come back at night. Eh, night is always better now, you understand? Uh, uh, Overnight. <laughs> Ichi? Yes. Are you coming back at night? What about your wife and children? Oh, this is the third insult. Hmm? Another insult? What are you talking about? You don't know me again, a former. Look, I have ways of handling every issue. I, yes, but I'm taking care of all that. <laughs> Don't I'll be back. Mm. Yes. Yeah, 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 please, when you're coming in, eh? don't allow your wife to know about it. I, I don't want any trouble. Oh. Eh? See, you are trying to make the insults fall now. <laughs> no. Why now? Eh? Okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hey, what got to you? I've been waiting here for you. I'm so sorry, I was doing something. But I'm here now. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. So why did you bring me here? Huh? Well, I, I brought you here because I do not want my parents, my brother and my sister to see us together. Hey! There's something I would love to discuss with you. You want to collect your money back? 
Oh no. Because I, I don't have it. No, come on, relax. It's it's not my money. It's not about my money. Okay. What is it then? <sighs> okay, so um yesterday I overheard you talking with my brother. Mm. I was a part of the conversation. I heard everything clearly. And that got me a bit confused because I don't know what your plans really are. I mean, what's your intention towards me and my family? I'm just thinking about everything I heard you say to my brother. And I thought I should ask. What's, what's, what's up? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. For what? I've been looking for an opportunity like this to tell you how I feel. So I want to thank you again for making it possible for us to come together and speak our minds. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all your support towards me since I came into your father's compound. You've been a source of inspiration to me. I am so proud of your parents. I'm so proud of how they raised you. You're young, but you don't act your age. You're very mature. I like the way you handle situations. I like how organized you are. You're a good woman. You saved me. You remember when my friend came to get me arrested? He promised he was going to call the police to arrest me. See what you did. You came into our midst and you solved the problem. Only, I'm not going to lie. Your wife material. So, what what are you trying to say? Only? Yes. You know I'm not getting younger. I know I had my reservations about getting married, but each time I see you, I feel like getting married. In fact, I want to marry you. I want to make you my wife. I, I feel like if you come into my life as my wife, you, you're going to help build me. You're, I'm going to be structured as a man. But the problem is, I don't know how to get married to you without money. You know fully well that I'm from a poor background. I, 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 I'm afraid because I, I know I won't be able to take care of you. Stop. I wish I had money. Stop. I, I'll, I'll take you. I'll take care of stop. you. Stop. I'll take you out of this place. You're very educated. I'll pay. Stop. For please stop. What do you mean, please? Only. Okay. Please just stop. Listen, I've always stop. promised myself that. If you marry me, I'll I'll love you so much. Stop. Stop. Will you? Stop. Will you? Hey. I said it. I said it. Poverty is such a disease. Poverty is a disease. No woman likes to get married to a poor man. No woman wants to associate with poverty. Oddly. Hey! You have to make money. Oddly, J. Choyogo. Go and look for money. Good 
day of Jesus. Did you greet me? Yes, my princess. I doubt. Because shut up. Because I did not see your mouth move. I did, my princess. Now you all listen and listen carefully. I am the princess and the future queen of this land. I'm in charge of every affair in this palace. So, my instructions stand. You. I do not have any business with you. By the way, where are your colleagues? They are on duty, my princess. They are on duty? Were they not aware I called for this? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, shut up. Back to what I was saying. I do not have any issue with you. But where I will have problems with you is if I see any of you loitering this compound looking dirty. Hmm. Then you will know exactly who I am. Get out. Back to you. From today, I don't want you maidens following me around like flies. As you can see, I have my maidens. What did you do? Oh. What did you do? I'm sorry, my princess. As I was saying, I do not want to see you maidens following me around. You can do that with the law. But that does not mean you should not wash my clothes and dress my room. Is that clear? Yes, yes. But my princess, we have washing machine in this palace. And it's not our duty to wash clothes. Will you shut up your mouth? I can see that you're going to be my problem here. I'm sorry, my princess. For talking back at me, you are going to wash the entire compound. I mean, scrub the compound. Starting from now. Yes, sir, my princess. Please forgive. Who is this? Are you talking to me? Yes, you will join. Shut up! You will join her in the punishment. Both of you will wash the entire compound, scrub the floor, from the front to the backyard. Foolish things. Have I made myself clear? I'm sorry, please forgive me. I said, shut up. This is beautiful kingdom. Hey, this is beautiful kingdom. I wonder where they brought her from. She's as wicked as Jezebel. I wonder what this palace will turn into if she stay here in the next six months. Then, six months. I will just resign from this palace before she turns me into her slave. Uh -uh. What is going on here? Who asked you to do this? Talk! Your mother is the new princess. You mean Amara? Yes, my queen. Why? 
Why did she? And, and where is she? We don't know. She told us to stop following her, that we are only assigned to you. And she even told us to start washing her clothes and dress her room. I was trying to explain to her that we have washing machine in this palace and she gave us this punishment. You know what? You girls should drop those things and go inside. God! Yes, go and fetch that Amara now. Tell her I want to see her now! Amara, I believe you hate them correctly. Is it true? Am I not talking to someone? Yes, my queen. But why would they be talking back at me while I was giving them orders? Which orders are you talking about? No, tell me. Did you employ them? Did you even know how they came into this palace? Now listen. This should be the last time you try this. Else, I will send you and your mates out of this palace. You heard me. But my queen, why would you be talking to me this way in their presence? Because you caused it. And listen very well. I will not warn you again. And you? For the fact I corrected her mistakes before you. Does not give you the right to talk to her anyhow. You still respect her as the princess wife and the future queen of this kingdom. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my queen. Good. Now, you maidens can go. Yes, my queen. Amara, come back here. What are you two waiting for? Get out! Look at them. Amara, listen and listen good. Let this be the first and the last. Never allow this nonsense that happened to repeat. If you do, you will lose your position. Yes, you hurt him. Now get out of my presence. Get out. This is beautiful kingdom. Hey, this is beautiful kingdom. You know you lied to my son and carriage. It's okay, my queen. It's okay. You have corrected her, and I believe she will learn her lesson. Okay? She better do. Come down. <sighs> Onyi, what is it? Since you've got here, you've not said anything. What is bothering you? I have a problem. Obviously. It is written all over your face. What is it? Do you remember that guy I told you about? That our tenant? Is it that one that you saved from the police? That was owing some money? That later took you to his poor wretched family and... No, no, no. Go on. That's not all. That one that was poor. That one that the father was poor and... What is wrong with you? You need to read out his entire biography for me to know that you remember him, okay? What kind of talk is that? Just of course, he's the one. Oh. I just want to be sure we're talking about the same person now. Okay, now you know. He's the same person. Mm. You have to rub it on my face. I want to go. So what about him? <clears throat> he, he said he wants to marry me. <laughs> Oh, what did you say? I've not said anything to you. That's why I am here. Discussing with you to see if you have any advice for me. So... Have you told your parents about it? Of course not. Hey. Hmm. 
You think if I told my parents about it, I will not be homeless by now. They will send me out of the house. <laughs> That's not even an option yet. So what do you have in mind? I have in mind and I'm here asking for advice. Now what for you? Please, I don't have anything in mind. Do you have an advice for me or not? What do you think? Oh. <laughs> my friend, this matter is serious. So. See, I don't even know what to tell you. See, if I ask you now to accept him, and something goes wrong tomorrow, you will say I pushed you into it. And if Talk. But first, you, you will have to promise me you won't tell Papa about it. What is it? Mama, tell just me. promise me first. It's okay. Please. Tell me. I promise you. Cross your heart. Oh? Mm -hmm. I cross my heart. You won't tell Papa about it. I promise. Mama. It's <clears throat> it's actually about Odile. What about Odile? Odile asked me <clears throat> to marry him. Onyechi, I don't understand you. You mean Odile asked you to marry him? What did you tell him? I... I haven't told him anything yet. I thought I should tell you first. Before. Knowing what to do. <sighs> now you have told me. What is in your mind? I actually don't have anything in mind right now. I'm still I'm still thinking about it, Mama. I don't know. It is okay. Eh? You have to go and sleep. Pray over it first. And make sure whatever is your decision, let me know first. Before telling him anything. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. I've seen the drink. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Una. Uh, you said your name is Fred. Yes, Una. And uh, from this community. Yes, Una. And uh, you came to ask for my daughter's son the marriage. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you, Una. Uh, if I may ask, what of your father? Because uh, he's supposed to be here with you. That is true, Una. My father is supposed to be here with me, but. Unfortunately, he went to the city for his medical checkups. I decided to come see you alone so that you will give me a date. Thereafter, I will come together with my father to see you. Okay, that's no problem. But uh, which of my daughters are you talking about? Oyinye. Oyinye. Yes, sir. Oyinye. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, there's no problem. Uh, in that case, I will call Oyinye to come out here. For you to be sure that you know the person you are talking about. No problem. Eh? Okay. Um, oh yeah. Papa. Oh. Come. Now you are worthy.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, is she the one you're talking about? Yes, and I, she's the one. I see. I see. Um, you can go. I uh, will talk to her later. Ah, Papa Umbao, there's no need now. I'm already here. Uh, there will not be any need for me to go inside. Don't I mean, worry. I said go inside. I will talk to you later. Papa Umbao. Uh -uh. There is nothing for us to talk about later. We can as well do it now. Let's just summarize it. After all, I'm present here. He's here. You are also here. So, what better time than now? I, of course, I know the reason he's here. Is it not to marry me? Yes. Oh. Ah. So, it's it's an open secret, okay? Yeah? So, mm -hmm. so, it's a marriage proposal, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And in proposals like this, it's either you accept or you reject. That's true. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. And I'm not under any form of durex. It's not by force. That's what I mean. Yes. Uh -huh. I am not interested in your marriage proposal, sir. Mm. So there's really nothing for us to think about later. There's nothing I'll be discussing with Papa after now. I refuse. In this case. So, my advice to you is, there is no point coming back here because of this subject matter. We have summarized it. To call the long story short, I am not interested. Okay? Uh -huh. Well done, Sao. Well done. Eh? Papa, we have summarized this. We have cut the long story short. Have a nice day. Eh, uh -huh. sir, remember, you don't have any reason eh, to come back here to discuss this. Except you are here to see my father. You understand? Eh, uh -huh. oh, bye. No worry, no, my daughter, she likes jokes. No, she's just joking. Nay. Nah. Are you usually sure she was joking? Uh -uh. My daughter, pass. She's joking. Can't you see her? She was uh, uh, smiling, dangling when she was saying that to show that she was joking. Uh -huh. uh, my daughter, she likes jokes. Uh, she, she was joking. Uh, is it not my daughter? I don't have to wear. It's don't worry, she's your wife. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, okay, okay. uh, don't worry. Uh, my regards to your father. Thank you. Uh, so let me be on my way now. Okay, now. Bye-bye. Hey, good job, girl. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's your wife. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Don't worry. We shall see. We shall see. What is your problem? Why have you chosen to reject all the men that came to seek for her the marriage? Eh? Papa, please. Papa, Biko. Papa, Abmakao. Please, oh. I beg of you. I am not ready for this. I have a lot on my mind. There's so much bothering me, Papa. Besides, I am not ready for marriage. When I am ready, I will announce it. You are not ready for marriage now. Mm -hmm. When you are ready, you will announce it. Mm -hmm. And when will that be? Papa, like I said, when I am ready, I will announce it. I will make it public. I will say it. I will make it known. People will hear about it. You are going to know. I will tell you. Hey, when you are ready, you will go to the television houses. Mm -hmm. Radio houses, even CNN, and announce it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. But then you must have chased all of them away and marry yourself. Eh? You must have chased all of them away and marry yourself. Woman, did you hear your daughter? You heard your daughter? Talk to her. Talk to your daughter. Talk to me. Talk to her. Hey. Hey. Talk to her. Nine. I've heard her. 
she said that she is not ready mm. that when she is ready mm. she will let you know mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Public knowledge. She says she's not ready. When she's ready, she will let me know. Hey, that means both of your plan is. Both of your plan is. It's okay. No problem. I will be waiting. But Mama, why are you supporting Sister? Uh -uh. Why are you supporting her? This thing you, you both are doing is not good though. It's not good though. She's not getting any younger now. Hey! Make a one If I slap you, eh? Yeah! No, no, let her run her mouth now. Mama, let her run her mouth. Why blame her? Stupid girl. If you open this gutter, you come out again. I will shut it up for you. Make it again! Mama, I'll shut up my mouth. But nobody should block my way when my own husband will come. Wow. Oh. They can't do that too. Nobody can do that. I'm here. Can you imagine? When your own husband. I've suffered. Chai. Abo. Um, what is that her name again? Judith. Uh -huh. Judith. Oh yeah. Get inside. Hey. The meeting is yes. over. One. Get where? Inside the She's not going anywhere. Stay here. Uh -huh. The meeting will touch you. You are not going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. Who did you? You are not going anywhere. Ah, easy. What is going on here? Amara, what is the meaning of this rubbish? I don't understand. What are you calling rubbish? Hey, you, get up. Leave this place at once. What is your problem? What is wrong with them filing my nails and, and giving me ice cream? Now you listen to me. I don't want this rubbish to repeat itself. Do you hear me? <laughs> mm. What is your problem? What exactly is your problem? All these things I'm doing is not to look good for your brother, my husband to be. Thank God you said husband to be. My princess, don't tell her. She's just jealous of you. I know. You know you're more beautiful than she is. Of course I am. Mm -hmm. Feed me. Oh, oh, you me? I love this. And this? Darling, who got you angry? Talk to me. Mom, I don't understand what is happening in this palace anymore. Can you imagine? I walked out there and I saw Amara dressed like a princess. What sort of nonsense is that? Eh? And some maidens were painting her nose. The other one was feeding her ice cream. Eh? I don't understand. As a queen or what? And darling, you know what? Allow her to be until your brother comes back. He's already away that she is here. He will be the one to decide, okay? 
But mom! It's okay. Well? She can go ahead and try that nonsense with the ones she brought. After all, they're birds of the same feather. But for the ones you employ, let her not try that nonsense again with them. I'll talk to her. Okay. So come on, come, come soon. Nice dress. Mom, no, I'm not in the mood for this. I have something to do with this. Bonini, why are you doing this to me? Why haven't I heard anything from you? Why haven't you said anything about my proposal? Why are you keeping quiet? Does it matter where I go? What do you mean? Do you care me? where I go to? Of course I care. It does matter where you're going. Onye, stop pretending. Stop pretending you care about me because you don't. You hate me so much because I am poor. How but let me tell you something. You don't know tomorrow. Nobody knows tomorrow. How can you even say that? How can I possibly hate you? I don't hate you. If you don't hate me, why have you been quiet? Why haven't you answered my question? So, 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 is, is, that, is that enough reason for you to leave? Onye, I've been in that house depressed. It's better for me to live here than stay in that house and die in silence. Goodbye. Hey, Odile, please, come. Wait. Please. Um. Yes. I'll marry you. You marry me? Yes. So you marry me? What stopped you from saying it? So... Why are you keeping it to yourself? You're not leaving. Are you still leaving? Yeah, so you don't you don't have to go. Yes. I mean yes. Say something. Come on. So, Aninechi, what you are telling me now is that you have accepted Odile to marry you and you've told him. Yes, Mama. Huh? Why didn't you tell me before telling him as we discussed? Mama, I I'm, I'm so sorry about that. It was unintended. The whole situation brought about it. I just couldn't bear but to tell him my mind. But I'm, I'm really very sorry, Mama. I'm sorry for not letting you know first. It is okay. Well, since you have accepted to marry him, eh? no problem. Oddly, is a nice man. But the issue there is that he is very poor. 
How is he going to take care of you? How? Mama, I I know that he's poor. But we'll manage. Eh? God will take care of us. Mama, see, something else bothers me more than the poverty part you're talking about. And what is that? <laughs> it's Papa. Oh. Yeah. I'm just wondering how Papa would react to all of this. <sighs> I know how Papa can be. <sighs> hey, don't worry yourself about your father. Hmm? He's my husband. I know how to handle him. Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> Mamazi, you have to just try because I'm more scared of Papa than Odili being poor and cannot take care of me. Because I know that as for that, ha, huh, nobody knows tomorrow. Anybody can become anything. It will be fine. <laughs> but Papa, oh, ah, that is why I'm supporting you. Nobody knows tomorrow, as you said, my daughter. Kelebo <laughs> boy, the city boy. <laughs> this your best. Let the old grandmother that came back know you. Know. I'm taking care of it, Daddy. Papa. Eh, about that girl you told me last time you want to marry. Yes. What is her name? From which family? <laughs> But her name is Onyinye. Mazi Bekwe's daughter. Give me. Onyinye. Uh -huh. Hey. That marriage will not work. Uh -uh. Papa. Why? Do you know how many suitors that girl has rejected? Both rich and poor. Look. If you love that family and you want to marry from that family, it's better we go for the younger daughter, Judith. She's very beautiful and nice. Judith? Yes. But Papa, I don't know her too well. Just as you don't know Ye too well. If you had known Ye, you would know that she would not even look at your face, talk about uh, uh, marrying you. Let's go for Judith. She's very beautiful and nice. Judith. Yes. <sighs> okay, Papa, if you say so, no problem. Yeah, that's my son. That's my son. I'm sure you should make a good wife. I eh? true. Papa. <laughs> papa, Papa. Okay. You don't do this one, man. You have to do it. Sit down. The Majesty. I'm beginning to suspect you. Ah. Each time I come to the palace. I always see this drink. Why? Or oh, how? <laughs> Why? It's here. Uh, I am one of the distributors of this drink. Ah. Yes. Hmm. Now I understand. Yes. It's a nice drink though. It is. Yeah. Mm, anyway, it's here. Your Majesty. I called you because of the girl Amara. The one you brought to this palace for my son to marry. Amara. I want you to warn her because of her useless behaviors. If not, she will not like what will happen to her if my son returns. Your Majesty, now I am totally confused. Please, talk to me. What has she done? A lot. There is nothing this lady has not done in this palace. Useless behavior. I want you to warn her before had I known becomes her friend. Your Majesty, to tell you the truth, I, I am totally perplexed. Oh. I mean, am I supposed to consider her background? I mean, the circumstances that led to her coming to the palace. Leni ano, ihona leni ano. And now she's bringing 
disrepute to her family and even myself who recommended her and brought her here. Oh, um, Your Majesty, please, I, I must apologize on her behalf. Um, I will talk sense into her. I'm very sure she will change. Hmm? You better do. You better do before it's too late for her. I will. I, I can assure you, I will. I will talk. It's okay. Choko, why are you talking to me in that manner? Why? Amara, you are screaming at me. I, Ichi Ofoma. Ofoma Ichi. Simply because I'm advising you for your own good. What kind of advice is that? What kind of advice is that? To the best of my knowledge, I have not done anything wrong. Uh -uh. Oh. I see. Ichi. So you're not jealous of me? I see. You are now jealous because I am part of the royal family as the princess and queen of this land to be. Get out! Amara! Are you out of your senses? I am not, obviously. You are asking me out of this palace? I've already asked no, you. No, in short, you are walking me out? I just did it. Just be going, be going first. It's alright. We shall see. We are going to see. Ichi, you mean I'm going to talk to you in that manner just because you advised her? Agnes, there is no abusing word in the dictionary that that girl didn't use on me. Yes. Can you imagine the most painful thing is that she said that you are jealous of her simply because she's not reality and that she's the, the, the future queen. Can you imagine that? How? I'm not that little rat of yesterday. It's alright. I'm going to say that for you. <laughs> hey. What? Her last daughter Judith is a good girl. That's why you came for her. Uh, but uh, you see. But what, Papa? You see what, Papa? What have I done to you? I, I was inside and over. You had everything we are telling them. Papa, let me ask you. Am I the one that asked you to reject all our suitors? What does it affect my own marriage? Papa, I don't like it though. I don't like it. Though. You need to get inside. Papa, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. This guy came here for me and I will marry you. Whether, whether, whether you like it or not. Hey, you will marry him. Whether I like it or not. Uh, Papa, okay? Judith, it's okay. please. I do see. not want you to say anything anymore. Just keep quiet. That's your problem. Your mouth run too fast. Is that how you would talk to your father in presence of your, your father in law and your, and your husband to be? Eh? I'm sorry, sister. Uh -uh. I don't want you to say a word. Okay? Papa, Papa, please be calm. Forgive her. She's only but a child. Yeah, I, I, I know she doesn't mean to disrespect you like this. You know, you know, Judy, she doesn't know how to present her case. But then again, Judith is right. Um, I'm not saying, no, Papa, I'm not saying she's right to have insulted you, to have disrespected you. No, no, no. But she's right because these people came to marry her, not me. Okay, so just give them your blessings. Besides, I, I am no longer available. I'm no longer available. Yes. Um, uh, welcome, our in laws. Welcome. Um, please, sir, what is your name? Um, my name is Kelechi. Okay. Um, Mr. Kelechi, you're welcome. Please, do you truly love my sister? Um, yes, of course I do. Okay, that's good. Judith. Yes, sister. 
Are you saying you love Kelechi well enough to want to spend the rest of your life with him? Yes, sister. I like you. In fact, I love you and I want to marry you. Ah. That, that, that settles it. I mean, what? That's it. Um, Papa, this settles everything. I don't think there's any reason for us to... <laughs> to be having fights, of course. Welcome, welcome, sirs. Welcome. She loves him, he loves her. That's all that matters. Both of us should get inside. I say, both of you leave this place now. Papa, I'll marry him. Get inside. I'll marry him. Be quiet. I'll marry him. Papa, just ignore her. She's just ignore her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Papa, this matter is settled now. It's not in. It's not in. I'm, I'm, I'm no longer available. Did you hear what I said? I said, follow her. <laughs> Your daughter loves my son. Eh? We well, used to be for us to be laws. We well, used to be good friends. Hey, she loves him. 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 See, Mama, I don't like what Papa did. So, if I'm sister, you didn't come out to me and interfere. I would have just lost this handsome guy. I would have just killed myself. What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> you should have killed yourself now. It's because everything has worked out. Very soon I'll be addressed as Mrs. Judith Kelechi Okafo. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, this is getting very stupid. So you would have killed yourself because of a man, mm -hmm. right? So you have to just calm down and take things easy. Because if you sharp mouth more than this, I'll just go out there and present myself to them to marry. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Why <laughs> hey. Come here, quiet. Come on, let back here. And where is that woman? Hey. Judith! Yeah. yeah. Judith! You have grown ways that you can talk and they stop me before my in-laws. Eh? Are you mad? Papa, I'm sorry. Just that the truth needs to be told. Truth? Which truth? Uh. Which one are you talking about? Or which one are you talking about? I'm a man. No. <laughs> no, they are your in-laws. What did he just call them? He said his in-laws. <laughs> hey, no. If not that my precious daughter, Onine, eh, interfered and they, they left, would you have been calling them your in-law? And what kind of oh, question is that? Eh? Oh, no, eh? oh, what kind of yeah. question is that? Your in-laws. Judith. Judith. Papa. Papa. Judith. Uh -uh. Your sweet daughter. If your mouth wants to be sharp, please go close to your father. Mm. Don't chingle my mother and be running mouth like see a tap. Let me see what I Ah uh ah. -uh. Eh? Now what for you? Papa, just relax, eh? Take it easy. Mm. Ah, it's Judith, oh. Mm -hmm. It's Judith. <laughs> Mama, you know she's a very small girl. Besides, she's a sweetheart. Mm. Small girl. Which one is a small girl? This one. Uh. This one is a small girl. Your darling, she's a small girl. Yeah. yeah. By the way, were you? Papa. What was the meaning of that thing that you said before my in-laws? Uh -uh. <laughs> that uh, uh, you are no longer available. Mm -hmm. What was the meaning of that? Oh, another trouble. Yeah, I want you to have my happy one here. So you never asked me you. Papa, eh? Is it here? You said. What was the meaning of that that you just said? That you're never gonna do. Okay, that's getting by. So to his in-laws. Yeah, Amara. What has come over you? Why must you talk to Ichi like that? Just because he advised you for your own good. Are you mad? Have you forgotten that any position you are in? It's each other that placed you there. Let me warn you. If you dare lose that opportunity of being in that palace, this compound will not accommodate you and I. Give me a kononka. Is that fun you see? Oh, that's your plan. To bring me back to this this wretched house. To stay with you? That's not possible, no, Mama. Or it's not possible. So if she came here, give me a do ma'am. And made me your topic as in your gossip topic. Hey, Mama? Listen. Stay away from my home. I mean my marriage. 
as you can see class say change go i am not in the same class again you can stay in your husband's house for all i care as for chin i know how to do he's just too little for me to handle let's go it's again me pon in the in this palace me pon in the cuz if you do it i go show you the door it is a disappointment i don't think you need to talk You are so lucky I met you here, Jay. I was just on my way to your house to warn your wife and you. I wanted to ask you why you went to my house to discuss with my mother. So God set me, Che. Huh? I have seen you have nothing useful to do with this. This is your miserable life. Amara, are you by any means talking to me? Mm-mm. Check around. What was I here? No. Are you insane? Am I the one who has pulling on like this? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? Eh? I have warned you to stay away from my real home. Come on. Is it because God used you to introduce me to the real home? Something I know that Jesus took to the table and God signed it. Jesus. Ordained in heaven that I shall be the queen of this land. So because of that, I should be under your control. Oh yeah? Eh? And you see this your, this your dry lips you use in telling me that I'm insane. One day, I will remind you of it when I must have married the prince. Then, you will know the gravity of what you just said. Akunike, heavy prostitute. Let's go. This is the last one. They are one. You brought me into this room for the past 20 minutes and you have not said anything. What is it? Nah. It's just that I want to tell you. Oddly proposed to Nine Chuko. And the Nine have accepted to marry him. Which Oddly and the Nine you are talking about? Oh. Oddly, your tenant. Nine Chuko, your daughter. Both of them are mad. It will never happen in my house. They are mad. Nay, calm down. Eh? You have to calm down. Let's look for a solution. Like I said, Onyechi have accepted to marry him. Onye have accepted to marry him and you say that she calm down. You are mad. Do you hear me? You are mad. Can't say why. So this is the reason you make it rejecting all the responsible women that tell you to for her the marriage and you supported her. That was her charm both of you. But it's not what I got my memory. I'm not going to say that I'm going to Ha. My please. Let's see how to sort these things out. Avoid making mistakes. Please. There's nothing to sort out. There's nothing to sort out, woman. I said this before that this girl has a mission in this house. But I didn't know that it has gotten to the extent of charming my daughter and my wife. Omanme. Omanme. Charming me. Nay. No one is charming anybody here. The children just fell in love. Eh? They fell in love. Why you did I give you the energy? I mean, my kid, you need the energy. I mean, that boy in Albany, what's a good picture? I don't know what to do. First is more money. He's leaving my house. Hi. What am I going to do? Only me, 
she have accepted to marry this boy without letting me know? Eh? My sees to understand what any other person is saying apart from his own. Hey! Any wanted tenant in my house, will you go to fire? Good morning, sir. 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 But, sir, what have I done this early morning? Don't ask me what you have done, but what have you not done? Yeah, 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 baby. Orderly. So this is how you are. Hey! I thought I'm living with a normal human being. But I think that I'm living with a native daughter. Who does nothing that going about charming uh, other people's daughter? Ha. I don't want to tell that in my family. Please, Papa, please. Nobody has charmed anybody. Nobody charmed anybody, yo. Please, I know what I am doing. It is all over you. And you have already told me that he charmed you because you are not the one talking. You are talking for what he planted into you. But don't worry, my daughter. The last. Nage, it's the Mike. Agamelo Rogwa. Omangotahe. Papa, that's a very strong word to use. I am not under any form of spell. I am in love with Odili. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I have a, I am in love. And I have accepted to marry him. This is me, Onye, talking. I am talking out of love, not charm. You are in love? Yes, Papa. You love this thing? You are in love, this thing? Now let me ask you. This thing, you said you are in love. What does he have? His name is Who is he? Odin. What is his surname? Eh? Somebody who cannot pay two thousand naira his house rent. He is standing before me, proudly telling me, Hey, Papa, I love him. What is his surname? I am asking you, what is his surname? But, but why, why am I even talking? Yeah, Otherly, go in there. Pick your bag because I know that is the only thing you have. That's the only thing you came with. Pick your bag because I are leaving my house at this moment. <laughs> Papa, that one will not even pay you. See this road now, this road you are traveling on, it will not pay you. It will not pay anybody because at the end of the day, you will be on the receiving end. Papa, you will be the one to lose though. Because if this man leaves this compound, I only need, I am going with him. What did I hear you say? If we leave, you are you are living with him. Yes, Papa. Nay. Nay, calm down. Nay, Jirikwani Awayo. Jirikwani Awayo. What did the orderly do to you that makes you to ask him to pack out of our house because he is in love with your daughter? Eh? Can you hear me? Eh? 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 There are Samson. He. Samson. I want you to call home. No, 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 no. If you still want to meet your mother and Donnie alive. Okay. Because I am going to kill them now here. Yeah. Huh? You traveled. Oh. Oh. When are you coming back? Huh? Okay, I should come down. I should come down. Okay, okay, it's all right. Papa, cool you down. Cool you down. Uh-uh. You have to calm down. Relax. Mama, did Papa not marry you? Did he charm you? Ask him. I don't know. I don't know whether he charmed me. But I charmed him, he charmed. Eh? So, you people are not talking back at me. <coughs> you have got to sit before me and talk back at me. Okay? Okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. Are you still here? Are you still here? Hey! Ah. Uh -uh. Where are you going? Papa, when did I expect you to talk to my father? Where is our marina and go? I'm going to go to my house. 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 I'm going to go to my house.
What is it? You look troubled. Is it because of what my husband told you this morning? But Mama, why? Why is he treating me like this? Is it because I'm poor? Or I'm from a poor background? He kept reminding me how poor I am. <sighs> Mama, how, how, how can he be treating me like this? I haven't done anything wrong. I told him I was going to p pay the rent. He should just give me some time. All he does is castigate me, call me all sorts of names. He even said I used charm on his daughter. How can he say a thing like that? Is it because of my condition, my predicament? Mama, is it a crime? Is it a crime to love somebody with all my heart? Why is he treating me like this? No, my son. It's not a crime. Mm -hmm. I know you have true love for my daughter. And my daughter loves you too. It's not all about money. See, since both of you love each other, I am solidly behind you. I will do everything to support you because I believe that no condition is permanent. It's a promise. I will not let you down. Forgive my husband, please. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. And well, when all of this is over, I promise to make you smile. Because you're a good mother. No problem. It's okay. Where is your wife to be? Yes. Um, she went out. She said um, she was going to see her friend, Okoma. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okoma. I know her. Okay. When she comes back, tell her to give you your food. Hmm? Okay. I want to go to the market to buy something. Okay. Feel free, relax. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I called you here in the presence of Papa to tell you that you'll be going with me to the city tomorrow to continue with your education so as to reduce stress for Papa. Mama. <laughs> I don't understand. When you say tomorrow, what do you mean? Tomorrow as in day after after tonight. Tomorrow, yes. When we sleep and wake up. Yes, tomorrow. As in daybreak. Tomorrow. You and I will be going to the city. Brother, I am not interested. Meaning? Meaning that I I am not interested in this your golden offer. Thank you for the privilege. Thank you for giving me this offer, but I am not interested. I know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and chance, but I decline. I am not going with you to the city. Don't you want to be a graduate? Is it your graduate? Why are you so affected? No, 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 tell me. Why does it bother you so much? Hmm? Are you the one graduating? I am not interested. Oh, hold on a minute. The last time I checked, you were the same person who said, Oh, I will not pay your school fees anymore. Blah, 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 blah. So why the sudden change of mind? That is because I want you to go to school I and become a graduate. I want to go to school and become a graduate. I do not want to. Okay? I am not interested. 
News flash. Uh, ah. Don't tell me what Papa told me about you and that foolish boy called Odilis Truth. Wow! You see, you have finally landed at the destination. This is where you were going all the while. Why didn't you just go straight to the point? Chairman! <laughs> I know that Papa must have told you everything. And instead of going straight to the point, you are beating around the bush. Eh, you have, you have suddenly become a philanthropist. You want to offer me a, a chance of, of, of becoming a graduate. You think I'm, I'm, I'm a child. Do I look like somebody that you can just sleep and wake up and pick like a handbag and take to the city? I am not going with you. Okay? Umbao, please. I do not want to be rude. <laughs> we do respect though. We do respect. <laughs> I am not interested. Well done. Thank you very much. Omeka Nanya, Chairman, Ezego. I am not going with you. President, Scholarship Board of Nigeria. Take your scholarship elsewhere. Excuse me. Can you imagine this girl? She's walking out on us. No single respect. I told you. I told you that boy has charmed her that she doesn't have respect for I, her father, and even you, her elder brother. But don't worry. Don't worry, I know what to do. You see that, Abe? I must kick him out of this compound. No, my papa. No. If you do that, we will not see Oye again. She will run away with him forever. So, what do you suggest we should do? Eh, uh, Papa, what I think we should do is uh, we need to know his family background. We need to know his people. We need to find out some certain things about them. If he's an uh, Anosu, you know all these things, Papa. I think you have a point. You have a point. It's okay. Huh. Sorry, no problem. Mazi, I've had everything. You and your son have just said about my poor son Adele. Please, I am begging you. Tampa justice with mercy, Biko. Adele, Adele is just a, a boy that is struggling to survive. And I know he will make it too. Yes, he will make it. And do you think changing my daughter's name of marriage will make him survive? Okay? Now you listen to me. Send a message across to your son and tell him to leave my daughter alone. Tell your son not to leave my daughter alone because if he don't, <laughs> you will not like the news you will hear. Mazi, Mark calm, my word. Mazi calm down now. Eh? Like I'm begging you, I say, Tampa justice with mercy. Odele is, is a boy, you. he's your son, no? and he's also my son. Please, let's Tampa justice with mercy. He will make it. No, mama, Mama, why not Odele make the money first before getting himself a wife? Oh. Eh? Why not he? He's too poor to get to get married at this time now. Eh? Besides, he's even owing my father some money for his house rent. Come on, house rent. Where yeah, we come from, we don't give out our daughter's hand in marriage to work for, for credits. We are telling you this so you can tell him. Why not give him the traditional marriage rights list and see if Odile will make it or not? Yeah. I believe Odile will make it too. Yes, he will. Oh. Oh. This woman might be correct. To give Odile the marriage list. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woman, tell your son to leave my daughter alone. Mm -hmm. Tell your son to leave my daughter alone. Tell your son to leave my daughter alone. <laughs> Let us go. It's what this. Oh, the lady saw the letter. They won't allow this boy to rest. Ah, ah. Is he the only boy that, that, that is poor in this community? Give me the Oh, the lady. My father and I called you to have a discussion with you. You know, issues like this, they don't settle it with violence. Uh, but then, I'd like to ask you, do you love my sister, Onyinye, and you want to marry her? I love Onyinye so much, and I'm ready to do anything for her. Ah, calm down. It doesn't get into that. Good than your pressure. Um... Uh, are you ready to perform all the marriage rights, no matter the cost? Very important question. Very, very important. I'm ready to do anything for her sake. <laughs> hey, Papa, you heard him. 
Kadi who? This one. Is that said and done? How about the? Of course, they come up with your own. Your own offer. Just give him the list. Give him the list. What the man? Give the list. Take now. That is uh, the marriage list for Mona and the entire community. Eh? Everything you see there, you must do it all. None will remain. Ah, ah. But, sir, this is too much. Sir, I. I, I was looking at 500,000 Naira to sort out everything, but it looks like 500 won't be enough. That is our marriage list. Eh? That is our marriage list. I am not the one that prepared the list. It has been like this since our forefathers. Now let me tell you. If you say that you are ready to marry my daughter, you have to get yourself prepared and do everything in that list. Else, no marriage. But sir, look at what I'm seeing here. Mm -hmm. Seven boxes of wrapper for the mother. Three milk cow. Four hundred, four thousand tubers of yams. Thirty pieces of. Thirty thousand pieces of fish. I do. That's only way I can get married what? to you. No. Four hundred tubers of yam. That's not four hundred. That's four thousand. Four thousand. What, what for? That's what they said. I have to do everything in the list before you can be my wife. No, no, no. Th 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 this is not possible. What? Cows? Goats? Hey! No, this is sheer wickedness. They said there's a second list. Don't scream too much. <laughs> this is... Excuse me, please. Bear this in mind All these things not temptation Nothing good comes in <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. No, what is this? Hmm? Uh, what is this? Marriage list. Hey. Now, this is pure wickedness. This is wickedness. Hey! Where do you want Odile to get this kind of huge amount of money from? When you and I know very well that Odile does not have this kind of money. The matter is simple. Very, very simple. If Odile cannot perform what is in that list, then let him forget about the marriage. I leave my daughter alone. Very simple. Umba. Umba. Papa, that one is not even possible. <laughs> hey, please. Let's not just even bring that one in. It's not possible. Ah, uh -uh. Odili is a man after my heart. Money or not, I am going to marry Odili. Papa, please, it's not that simple, oh. It's not that simple. Now, you listen to me, young lady. Every day you disobey me and marry that fool, Odili. Without performing all these things in that list, you will cease to be my daughter. I even forgot to add uh, uh, one big ram and the full feeble. Papa, and you have not it. got into that. It has not got into that. Mama, Onyinye, let me even ask you a question. Why are you even taking Panadol on another man's headache? Oh. Who told you that Odili is not capable of paying for the items in the list? Let me help you, Samson. It is my own headache. This is my headache! 
What are you even talking about? This is my husband to be. We are talking about here. I'm behaving like someone who wants to. Excuse be. me. Whatever affects Odili affects me. <laughs> oh, what kind of a wife do you think I'm going to be? A wife who will just let her husband waste money on frivolities. It's not possible. Even if Odili has all the monies in this world, I would not let him spend on on, on this on this on this rubbish you wrote here. It's not possible. I'm not that kind of a wife. I'm not. I'm not a wasteful spender. Wait a minute. What am I even saying? Samson, when you married your wife, can you tell us how much you spent marrying her? It's none of your business. No, it is my business. Of course it is my business. Papa, I was there when Judith also got married though. I was presently present. I know how much the husband spent. Papa, in fact, you were even very excited. That the man exceeded your list. And the list didn't look anything like this. Papa, please. Why do you want to kill somebody's son because he wants to marry your daughter? It's not fair now. Now he's on your list and people want to kill my husband. Why Odili? Why? Because Odili is a stranger in this community. Simple. And the Judith husband is from, uh, from this community. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I remember. Of course he's a stranger. Samson, let me ask you this question. Please, where is your wife from? The last time I checked, she's not from this community. Is she from this community? It does not concern me. Oh, no, it does concern me, Samson. It does concern me. Haba, what is all of this? Why? You want to kill somebody's son? Just because he wants to marry me? This is totally unfair now. It's not nice. Please, oh. Please and please and please with due respect, Papa. I do not want to disobey you. I do not want to disrespect you, Samson. Mama, talk to Papa. Warn your son. Hell, otherwise, you people will walk down with me here, oh. Now you listen to me, young lady. Is it that all the left performs all the things in that list, or? Oh? No marriage. Really? Or oh, no marriage. Really? Get that into your Papa, head. Papa, is it your marriage? Are you the one they are marrying? Hmm. Are you not my daughter? Okay, no, Papa. Please, don't you need the privileges? No, 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 no. Don't you need the aeroplane? Enough of that. Don't you need the house? Enough! Enough what? Let's put it on the list now. Our, our, our okay. lifetime okay. problem. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. 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 Nah, it's unfair. <laughs> it's unfair. Mm. All I know is that wherever my daughter stands, that is where I am going to stand. Huh? Of course. That wherever your daughter stands is where you are going to stand. Yes. Don't worry. Very soon, both of you will stand in the land of confusion. Because we are calling with uh, uh, tradition. We are calling with culture. It's okay. Don't worry. We shall see. We shall see. But let me ask you, on which side are you? It's huh? obvious. On which side are you? Papa, is that even a question? It's obvious. This is tradition, mm. This is tradition. Remember? Tradition. 58 cow is tradition. And tradition must be observed. Mm -hmm. What is it? Having sleepless nights. I've been thinking of doing the things on the marriage list your father gave to me. I'm sorry all that while I couldn't come up with the money needed. I 
was very upset with myself. But then I remembered my mother had told me about a piece of land given to her by her grandfather before he died. I had to convince my mother to sell off that piece of land for my sake. I needed to raise the money for the marriage rights. It was very difficult to convince my mother, but eventually I did. That is the part payment made by the buyer of the land. He promised to give me the rest of the money next month. Yeah. What did he? So what you're trying to tell me is that you sold your mother's only piece of land. For what? I mean, to what end? That was the only option I had. No! Um, Odili. Do you love me? What kind of stupid question is that? No, just answer the question. Do you love me? Of course I love you and that's why I'm doing all of this. Okay. If you love me... money and get back your land. Take it. Have you lost your mind? No. You are taking back this money to get back your land. Odili. If you don't take back this money, then I'm sorry. You're going to lose me. But you have you lost your mind? Take what about your brother? What about your brother? What about the, 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 the marriage list? What happens to it? Odili, please. Take this back. Take back this money and reclaim your land. Please. Please. Answer the question. What about the marriage list? What, did he what happens to no, it? Please stop. You're taking this back. What about your father? Oh my goodness. I said just take back the... What about the promises I've made? What is it that you want to discuss? My love. Yes. I'm tired of sitting down in this small house doing nothing. I mean, I've returned the money like you rightfully instructed me to. And right now, I think I want to start looking for a job. Because come to think of it, I'm educated. I've got all it takes to work. But I'm just here doing nothing. I'm tired. Hopefully, if God helps me, I find a job. Things might get better or something. That's a very good plan. I mean, very good. I think I would also look for something to do myself. Anything I can lay my hands on to be able to support you. Yes. If you're working and I'm working, we can jointly sort out our issues. It doesn't matter how little I can contribute. I should be able to support you. You see where I say good things about you. You're a good girl. You were raised well. Thank you for coming through for me. I appreciate all your kindness. You're a wife material.
Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. You come back. I waited out for you all night. I didn't see you. I couldn't reach you. Where did you go? I'm sorry. I should have told you I was going out yesterday. So I went to look for a job at Umamaga Community. Okay. So I got an information mm -hmm. that there's a vacancy at their palace. So I went. I met with the king and his wife. I told him about both of us. So he wanted us to come and as me and the palace guard. And my salary was going to be 15,000 naira every month. So what you trying to say is I also got a job at the palace. Yes, I told the queen about you. That you're very hardworking and you're very nice. You're talking, right? And they, they seemed like very nice people. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You said our salary is 15,000 naira every month. So we both will be earning 30,000 naira every month, like 30k. 30,000 naira every month, yeah. Monthly, yes. <laughs> what? Wait, what are the feeding? Feeding? Yeah, I mean, I want to know now. One day, we're going to be working in a palace. So what does that mean? It means that there's so much food to eat, so we don't have to touch our salaries. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Guess what? So we're going to be saving like 30k every month. Every month. month. Monthly. Yes. I will be eating so much food. Yes. Guess what? He said we should come and start tomorrow. <laughs> Wait. Your boy can say that tomorrow, you know, when we sleep and wake up, we can leave it. We're leaving tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> So, my children, what you both are telling me now is that you've gotten a job yes, at the royal family of Omar Maga Kingdom. Yes, Mama. Ha. Hmm. Mama, I'm very happy. Yeah. I am very happy too. I'm very, very happy. So, when are you both leaving? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Oka. Yes, mm -hmm. um, what if your father should ask me your whereabouts? What will I tell him? Mama, please. Papa is your husband. You can handle him. Tell him anything. But please do not mention where we work. Papa must not know that. Oh. Please, oh. Mama, she's right. He shouldn't know where we work. Oh. <sighs> I've heard what you said. And I will do just that. Let me pray for you. God Almighty will guide and protect you. Mm -hmm. You will achieve every of your good heart desire. Long life and prosperity. You people will not fall into any temptation. I cover you people with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover you people with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Woman, since I came back from my travel, I have not seen you in land all day. Where are they? They are no longer here. They are no longer here. Where are they? Where have they gone to? They have gotten a job to raise money to perform the marriage rights on Oninye. Ujua, you mean that boy of the ran away with your daughter? And you cannot even call me or something to tell me of us. Eh? I did not say they ran away. I said they have gotten a job. Eh? They have gotten a job and they are living in their working place. Eh? As a husband and wife. As a husband and wife, they work. They are 
gotten a job and they are living in their working place. Okay. Why is their working place and when are they coming back? No, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? Yes, sir. You just don't ask you. What kind of a woman are you? I'm asking you, what kind of a woman are you? That boy you have to run away with our daughter, Ojiye. You are telling me that you don't even know where they went to and the boy that coming back. Let me tell you, if anything happens to my daughter, Ojiye, if anything happens to my daughter, Ojiye, I will skin your life. Ask my brother, come on. Get away, my baby. You call yourself a mother. So go run away with your daughter and you don't even know where they went to and where they are coming back. Don't worry. We shall see. I still don't know. Okay. Good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm very well, my queen. Um, where are the other maidens? Uh, my queen, they're still sleeping. Still sleeping by this time of the day? Um, my queen, is there anything you'd like me to do for you? It's okay, don't worry. Um, my queen, I'm actually almost done with this, just in case there's anything. Are you sure this food is going to be enough for you or do you want me to bring some more? Really? Yeah. This food is much. I'm thinking how to finish it. Why not? You're a man. A man should eat. Oh, so I look like a donkey that eats <laughs> too much. Why did you give me this much food? Wait, but this is not so much. I was thinking of adding some more for you. I'm in charge of the kitchen. I know, know because you're in charge of the kitchen, so you want to kill me in food. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is going on?
hiding in here? Why are you both hiding here? We're not hiding. hiding. He was eating and then I brought him water. As what? Does he not have to get water for himself? I call Julia. Eh? You. I feel one nature out of you. Is it your eyes? You want to impregnate her? We're not doing anything. She just got me water to drink. We're not doing anything. Now, both of you listen to me. I will not what is going on? one you again. Huh? Can you imagine? And I heard your voice. What is it? Yes. These two are always so close to each other. I've warned them so that they will not listen. Mm -hmm. I don't even know they were kissing and the man seen each other before I walked in. No, 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 no. We don't do anything. We're, we're just sitting and talking as friends. I just brought water. And how is it your business if they're close to each other? Huh? Don't tell me you have eyes on this young man. What? You heard me. Adeline, be very careful. Just go back to your position. Thank you, my princess. Well, we weren't we're doing anything. We weren't doing anything. Eating and talking. It's fine, just go. She's always doing that. Yes, we're not doing anything. She's always attacking Honestly. me for no reason. It's fine, just go. Let, let me have this. Be very careful. Huh? I want to remind you that you're a woman. You're not supposed to be close to a man who is not your husband. Especially in this kind of environment. I'm sorry, Maya. I'm sorry. It's okay. Just go back to your position. At every little opportunity, Zama wants to show power. She wants to show that she's in charge. Oh! Ah, I see you don't like it. I like it. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, you see, I've been meaning to ask, what is your observation about these two people we employed? I mean, um, or the lay and on need to be specific. Well, um, for the maiden on mm. I don't know. Oddly. That guard has been doing wonderfully well. In fact, he is the best guard among all the guards. Same with Onye, your majesty. Ooh. That girl is well industrious. That Onye wakes up before every other maiden in this palace oh. to do the clearing, wash the dishes and so on and so forth. She is doing well, honestly. Which means both of them are doing perfectly well. And yes. what do you have in mind for them? You see, if you ask me, I would suggest we make her the chief cook. Since our chief cook has been on leave for some time now, I know she will deliver. In that case, I will also make oddly my chief guard. And I am going to increase their salaries to 20, 20,000 oh. each. <laughs> That is yes. nice. They deserve it, Your Majesty. Okay. So tell me, what next? What do you want me to do? You have to arrange for a meeting with them immediately. That's the next thing to do. I will do just that, Your Majesty. It's okay. My queen. <laughs> Call this meeting because of you and Um, my friend, please. Did we do anything wrong? Um, yes, you have done something. Hey. Please, 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 we were sorry. Please, please. Please.
Yeah, what, what have we done? Whatever, whatever we've done, we're very, very sorry. I, I, I promise you, it's unintended. We will never deliberately do anything wrong. Yeah, 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 your Majesty, it's just how you do things. Yes, we don't even know. Yeah. know when, Sometimes we go astray without knowing. Yeah, you're, uh, for the people, my queen, please just have mercy on us. Please just forgive us. Your Majesty. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. So, 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 your Majesty, I, I know we have wronged you in so many ways. We may so have to be so shut up now. I want the Queen to talk. No, you must say we we you. We are making noise. Um, okay. you see, ever since you and Adele moved into this palace, we've been watching you very closely, and you've been doing wonderfully well. Yes. Huh? Well. And for that reason, my family and I have decided to promote you both. What? <laughs> Onye. Yes, yeah, my queen. Henceforth, you are going to be the chief cook of this palace. Whoa. So, congratulations to you. Huh? What? Congratulations. Chief cook. You have. <laughs> my queen, I'm sorry, like, did you say that? No, 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 in case you don't understand, she said you're going to be in charge of the kitchen. Yes, yeah, they're going to be in charge of the food I all the in this house. Yes, 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 yes. Thank it's you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, from this moment on, you are the chief guard of this royal house, which means every other guard is under your control. Your <laughs> <laughs> Majesty. We have agreed to increase your salaries from 15,000 naira to 20,000 naira. Wait, 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 my king, with all due respect, I, 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 I think this is, this is, this is unfair. There were other maids that I'm guard before the king, so those must be promoted first before this one. Hey, will you shut up? Who are you to tell my parents how to run the affairs of this family? Huh? Hmm. Uh, you can go now. <laughs> Behavior cannot please me. What have come over you? My brother has not married you yet and you display this nonsense attitude of yours. Oh, please, please don't insult me because I came to your room. Take it easy. Say, if you don't turn a new leaf, you might lose him. Is that a threat or what? You heard me. Now leave. Now leave. Get out! Woman, listen to me. Listen to me. If anything happens to my daughter, Ulilechi, I will kill you and kill your son. Why must you run away with my, with, with my daughter? Oh, yeah, mama, mama. Do I just give birth to my daughter with your son? Eh? Now listen to me. Call him wherever he is and tell him to bring back my daughter. Tell him to do that. I'm not going to do that. Come on, dear, dear. Where's the people there and why? As I beg you, please, eh, tap for justice with mercy. Wait to all be. But where the heck? Listen, listen, listen. What listen, will happen to listen, her? Listen, listen, woman. Eh? I am not here for this, your hanky panky or whatever. Do you hear me? Call your son wherever he is. Beg him. Plead with him. Tell her for him to bring back my daughter. Else, you see this house. I will burn down this house. I said they will come back. They will come back. Your daughter is safe. They will come back. Wherever they are. I will not want you again. Oh, I will not want you again. Please calm down. She will come back. Your daughter will come back safe. Look at the way he's just giving himself IBP. Because of the things. This is just what is what is 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 raining now for young boys and girls. That is just the the way things are. He's just giving himself a high BP. Abba.
Oh. Hmm. This food is delicious. Your Majesty, tell me, how is the food? Oh, this food is very sumptuous. Hmm? Well, your mother must be a good cook, and um, she thought to hear that. Oh. Um, Omi, tell me, who taught you how to cook? My queen. His Majesty has said it all. In other words, your mother told you. Yes, my princess. <laughs> you are wonderful. Mm. Thank you very much. Wow. wow. It's good. Oh. Pepe. Mm. Pepe, Pepe, Pepe. Pepe. Why did she walk away like that? Um, your Majesty, I hope the Pepe is not so much. No, if you do it more than that, it's very nice. Is the pepper too much? My food, food is good. I like it. My friend Yummy. <sighs> Mom, please, can we enjoy this delicious meal prepared by me and forget about the walking cups? Mm. Princess, mm. a no. A no, mind your tongue. I'm sorry. Um, I'm glad you all are enjoying your meal. Right. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. Why are you eating with three pieces of meat? Sir, huh? I said, why are you eating with three pieces of meat? Because I'm supposed to eat with Say the explanations. Onye! 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 My princess, I'm here. What is this? I... Sorry, I don't understand. You don't understand. It's food. Of course I know it's food. Why would you serve him with three pieces of meat? Meat rice. Eh? Meat made for everyone in this palace. Take two to the kitchen. No. Now. They, uh, there's... Shut up! I'm already... I said you should shut up! There's enough meat in the house. Adelie, don't push me. Shut up! We killed a big cow two days ago. I said you should shut up! Take the tree to the kitchen. Take it to the kitchen. Move it this way. What's up, Barra? And you. There's enough meat in the, in the kitchen. You want to eat rice? What is best? Best. You know what? Eat rice. rice. What? Oh. My princess, you you sent for me. Do you know that as I'm looking at you right now, I feel like strangling you to death. Future thing. Uh, uh, my princess, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Did I? I don't understand. Did I do anything? How would you understand? You just came from the gods and feel like I can hijack everything in this palace, right? Get out. Huh? Get out, Vivian. I said out. You witch. The princess says you should get out. Go now. Uh, Don't worry. By the time I am done with you, if you see me, you run. Feel the thing. Upset. Don't let anybody upset you. Just calm down. Disappointed 
What did she tell you? Can you imagine? She called me only to insult me. Calling me all sorts of names that she hates me and that she thinks I'm a witch. That's why people like me in the palace. Can you just imagine? A witch? Yes. But people don't like witches. I was wondering. Listen, people like you because you're a likable person. Right. People like you because you're nice. She's only jealous of you but because you're a likable person. That doesn't mean I'm a witch. No, right? you can't be a witch. If you're a witch, I won't like you. Yeah, that's true. Listen, if she wants to be like you, she needs to change. She <laughs> needs to change her behaviors. She needs to change her character. Tell me something else. That witch can't change. Forgive me, I had to call her a witch because she called me a witch. But she can't change. I only pity the prince who's going to come back to marry that witch. Wait, you haven't heard. What? Okay, earlier today, mm -hmm. the princess and herself, yes. they both had a verbal confrontation. You're joking. No. You see, the princess advised her to change her bad ways. If not, she would lose the prince. <laughs> yes. That's loud. I'm serious. My queen, she's coming. Thank you. My queen, good morning, my queen. You called. Good morning. What are you doing? Um, I'm doing the dishes, my queen. We are done with the dishes. Come and tidy the sitting room. Then dress my room. That's all right, my queen. But I, I was going to prepare breakfast after doing my dishes. So can I do the cleaning afterwards, if it's okay? Don't worry about the breakfast. Amara will do that. It's all right. Let me just finish off the dishes. It's okay. Amara. My queen, where are you going to this morning dressed like this? I'm going to get my toiletries. Oh, that can wait. I want you to go and prepare breakfast. Yam and sauce. But my queen, when you know it's there, she can do it. When she is busy, I sent her to do something for me. Hold on before your majesty start asking for me. What kind of thing is this now? You both to cook this meal. this? Amara, is this what you prepare for us to eat? So is this how you prepare sauce? Too much pepper. <sighs> pepper. Pepper, oh, I said this girl will kill us in this house. <sighs> Darling. Look at the sauce. Very watery. Over salted. Eh? Amara. Do you want to kill us in this house? Amara. Eh? Honestly speaking, I am disappointed at you. I'm sorry, my queen. You are sorry? You see? If I talk now, you people will say Princess Adak talks too much. Come on, yam and egg sauce. She doesn't know how to prepare. I have to talk where to be doesn't know her job as a woman. Amara, you are beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, did you say thank you? You are beautiful and you don't know how to cook. And you are telling me thank you. Go and call Onyechi for me. 
You heard her. Say you. Is it her or me? You! Go and call on me. Excuse me, my friend. Mercy! Mercy! What are you doing? Mm -hmm. I said go and call on me for me. My queen, it's like a mercy will just rush now. Mercy! What is Mercy! You're shouting. Look at the Yamayama thing that she made for us to eat. Is it that her brain did not tell her the amount of pepper and salt to put in this food? Gucci, what is wrong with you? Now she has made the mistake. What do you want me to do? And why are you shouting? You're losing your voice. You're making those. Are you telling me that her mother did not teach her how to cook? Ordinary yam and egg sauce. Look at the rubbish that she made. Okay, madam. Since she doesn't know how to make it, and the mother didn't teach her. You and your mother thought very well. Why didn't you go and help her? Why didn't you help her in the kitchen? I am totally disappointed. I am the ordinary yam and egg sauce. Ugochi, respect yourself. Who's just are hearing what you're saying? Eh? You're talking down on my princess. What is wrong with you? Hi. Why are you complaining? No, you know, madam. I want thou. Who Who are you talking to? And who invited both of you in this case? Look at them like swollen puff <laughs> I don't blame both of you. Ugochi, you see what you have caused. You see what you have caused. But it's the truth now. Uh -huh. Ugochi, shut up. One. Shut up. I am an ex. Maybe the punishment you both received the other day is not enough. Maybe you both want to scrub this compound again. Look at them, useless people. You guys should come and join this one. Oh. <laughs> you people like pop pop that is swollen that leaks for you. Don't blame it's you that I blame. Well, did, you, did you see what is going on? Samson, my son. Your mother here is in the right position to answer this question you are asking me now. Because she cannot with that fool orderly to run away with uh, 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 Olivia. And I have told her about that number to go and look for Olivia and bring her back to this house. Because when I start my own, when I start my own, this whole community will not accommodate us. Talk to her. Mama, <laughs> Mama, you heard what Papa said. Please, tell us, what do you know about Oninye's disappearance in this house? Audley and Oninye did not run away. They have gotten a job somewhere. To see if they can raise money. To perform what is in the marriage list, which you and your father connived and gave to him. So you and your father pushed them away. Not me. Nobody should mention my name again in this house. Did you hear her? Ah, Did you hear your mother? Talk to your mother. Papa. Talk to your mother Papa. because Papa. if I start my own, Papa, please calm down. Please talk Papa. to your mother. Mother, don't be Please. Hey. Please. <laughs> Mama. Okay. Yeah? Thank God at least we know they are alive. Eh, but please, can you tell us where they are or which company they are working for? I don't know. Mama, you don't know. I don't know. Please. I was doing something inside when you and your father called me here. Like I said, I'm busy. Because 
Obo bo juru na anya ngwa si yenku. Ujua. Go go go. Go go go. Papa. Ujua. Go 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 ma tota. Papa don't worry. Go and do it. Is a bad issue. Talk to your mother. Don't worry. Go and do the matter. Papa don't worry. Sit down. Sit down. I found a lot of the place now. We'll talk about this. We shall see. Right. I and Papa Chester and are not really away from this house. No one has ever gotten married with such an expensive list before. I think I know what to do. Only Mama can bring them back. Yes? I'll have to speak with Mama. Hmm. Are you awake? Yes, ma'am. Hope you slept well. Uh, not really, mama. I was disturbed all through the night. Are you sick? No, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. What happened? Uh, just that I'm disturbed about all the Lee and the uh, Mia. You know, that thing you said that I and Papa chased them away. Mama, you're correct. Too. You know, we shouldn't have arranged such an outrageous list, knowing that Odile is not capable to foot the bills. Hmm. Because you and your father hate that poor boy just because he doesn't have money. Do you know tomorrow? Uh, Mama. Mama, now, hmm? quit the blames now. I and Papa, we have accepted it. Uh, it's our fault. Hmm. Hmm. Thank God you realized that. But Mama, mm. you know where they are. Please tell me so I can go and look for them. Even if it means giving all the list of money to perform the marriage rites, I will. Mm. I'm not laughing now. I don't know where they are. Uh-uh. Mama. And wherever they are, they are fine. Eh? <laughs> eh. How do you know they are fine? Are you a spirit? You know? I say they are fine. Come on now. Hmm? This is my sister we are talking about. Man. Your daughter. I know. I say they are okay. Eh? So, you know how to go. They are okay. Don't tell me. Uh, they are okay. Let me know. I'll go and look for them. Oh, yeah, go. police I should tell you where they are so that you go and look for them if it's money you are going to give all the when do you start loving all this? I've never known your plan my son oh. uh, it's okay uh, your majesty I think this is the right time to call this on your girl and tell her our mind that we would want our son to marry her the moment he comes back from London. My queen, you are right. But I would suggest that um, we keep both of them so that when our son comes back, he will make his choice. Um, my princess, what do you have to say? Dad, Mom, I prefer Onyinye. Let's keep Onyinye and send Amari away. Yes, Onyinye is a good girl and a wife material. Um, my daughter, you're right if you say you prefer Onyinye, but I think your father is right here. Let us not send Amara away. 
because you already sent her picture to your brother over there and if he comes back to meet a different person he would think you are playing pranks with him so i will suggest we'll stick to your father's advice till he comes back well i prefer me you feel that i prefer her too mm -hmm. mm. my queen your majesty you have to arrange for a meeting first for us to meet with Onyinye so that we will know her mind. <laughs> Consider it done. No I will do that. My princess, father. you have an eye for a good thing. Thank you, father. The same Onyinye we are talking about. about. <laughs> That's my queen. <laughs> my princess. These people want to throw me away and bring him on me as the princess and future queen of this land. No, 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 no. After all I've labored for, they want to throw me away. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? The king and the queen asked me to give you this money. It is your salary for this month and next month. Take it. What, what? They asked you to leave. One more thing. They said you both should not near the gate of this palace, else you will rot in jail. Why? Uh, what, what, what did we do? What did they say we did? What, why are they sucking us? Why are, you, why are you asking me questions? Huh? Please, can I, can I speak to the king? Shut up! Speak to who? You both think they've not been seeing you hiding and, and cuddling up and down in the palace. Hey! That's not true! Hey! Please, can I see the king? I need My to speak friend, to get you. out! Leave! See who? I need to see the king. What is wrong? You want to end up in prison? He employed us. Take this money now. Excuse me. Take it and leave. If I can't see the king, then I'm sorry, I won't take the money. Just because of money. Why, why, why? Here they come there again. Why no more? Okay. My love, if we leave this palace right now, it means we're big fools. How, how do you mean? I feel the right thing to do is to consult the Igwe and the Lolo. At least tell them what just happened. I mean, we can't possibly leave like that. Besides, I don't trust that girl. I don't. We don't work for her. She didn't employ us. Baby, if you ask me, I will say that we leave immediately. No. At least in peace. She might be saying the truth. No, it's not ideal to leave the palace without the Igwe's consent. We must consult the Igwe. Besides, I don't trust that girl. There's something not right. There's something not right. There's something not right. Think about it. She can't just possibly ask us to leave. We don't work for her. She didn't employ us. We're working for the Igwe and the Lolo. She has no right to send us out. Just like that. Well, um, if you insist, then I think we should see the big way. Right. That's the right thing to do. Amara. Ebony and Ovinye said that you asked them to leave this palace. That their services are no longer needed here. And you even paid them two months' salary 
in advance. Is it true? Amara, I am asking you, is it true? Yes, my And who are you to do that? No, tell me, who are you to do that? Did you employ them? Are they working for you? You are unbelievable. Mama Queen, I, I, you are... Hey, hold it there. How dare you talk to my mother in that manner? What is wrong with you? Huh? You see this nonsense attitude of yours? It has to stop. Because if you don't, that, what is your problem, princess? What exactly is wrong with you? Why don't you like me? I, I, not that I care, because I don't care. Why is it that you do not like anything about me in this palace? Take this from me. It is high time you got married. And allow me enjoy my marriage. <laughs> what? Who did I hear you say? Marriage. <laughs> Which marriage? Huh? Fool. Um, um, that's enough. She is still your brother's wife to be. Oh. Um, Odele. Onye. Please go back to your rooms. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. Amara. Did you realize you were talking to my daughter? The princess of this kingdom. Let this nonsense you display today not repeat in this palace. Because if you try it again. Move in, move in. Relax, relax very well. This is your hope. Okay? Uh, I, I want to ask you a question on you. Do you love this royal family? Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Whatever we ask you to do, will you? Yeah, yes, Your Majesty. But, it, but, but that depends on... Uh, on yeah. You see, my husband is trying to tell you that. Since the day you move into this palace, we've been watching you very closely. And uh, we came to find out that you are a very wonderful girl. Mm. You are a nice girl. What I am saying is that you are a wife material and you have manners. Oh. Wow. That's a very um, wonderful recommendation, my queen. I'm flattered. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, my husband and I have decided to choose you to be our son's wife. I mean the prince of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. So that the moment he comes back from London, we'll go see your parents and perform all the necessary marriage rites and make you ours. Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, um. <laughs> your majesty. No. It's not possible. Your son, the prince, already has a wife. And that is Amara. Oh, Nye, my beloved daughter. You've been in this palace with us for some months now. Yes. You know everything. The so-called Amara you're talking about is not a wife material. That's very correct, Your Majesty. Uh, but you can teach her. I mean, you can... You can Turn her into the woman you want her to be. You can make her a wife material. Amara has come too far with this family already. We have done the best we can. We have tried all to make her change. But Amara is unchangeable. Yesterday, you were here when she was shouting at everybody. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? It is. She even ordered you and Adele to leave the palace. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. your, your Majesty, my Queen, please, there's something I would like to tell you about myself. Go on. What is it? Tell us. I hope you don't feel offended. 
It's it's orderly. What about him? Uh, Odin is my is my fiance. Yes, uh, he's my husband to be. Uh, we both love each other truly. As a matter of fact, the reason we came here to work is so as to be able to raise money for my traditional right. My father already gave him a list. I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I cannot, I cannot marry the prince. It's okay, it's okay, my daughter, it's okay. You see, I am not expecting you to accept the proposal immediately. Yes. You are a woman, mm -hmm. and things of this nature, women do think about it. Yes. I want you now to ponder over it, mm -hmm. think about it. Mm -hmm. And come out later with a better answer, yes. Mm -hmm. And for all the men, leave him for me. I will settle with him in such a manner that his life will be more comfortable. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. You're right. Uh, uh, uh. Your Majesty. My queen, my princess, this is an honor. It's a privilege. But I'm so sorry. I, I cannot. There's really nothing there for me to think about. Onini, my father wants you to think about it. Eh? My dear, it's for your own good. Odili cannot offer you anything. You know it. Um, Oninye, you see, just go in, think about it. I am expecting you to say yes, so think about it. Me too. Ah. Do think about it. Do think about it. Can you just imagine? Can you imagine that the king and Lolo asked me to marry their son, the prince? What? Asked you to marry the prince? Mm -hmm. Wait. If they asked you to marry the prince, then who's Amara? What's she doing in the palace? Oh, ask me now. What was your response? What did you tell them? Of course, I, I told them that it's not going to be possible. That I'm in love with you. Hey! What, hey. what, what is it? I, I told them we're getting married soon. You and I. You told them that? Hey! Uh, are you are you okay? No. Why? For my love, no. I my love, you should have found a way around the question. I mean, I expected you to be diplomatic. Oh, I, so that so that they can keep pestering me. No, no. And, no. and putting me under pressure. Of course I needed to get them off my back. At least telling them the truth will keep them away from me. Uh, no, I, I expected you to stylishly discharge them, you know, diplomatically. Come on. I don't understand you. Hi. Why are you the one afraid now? What are you afraid of? What is it? Or, or you're not in love with me? Uh, no, no. I, I, I didn't say that, my love. I, I'm just... I'm just saying you should have... What are you saying?
were here. Yes, my queen. I'm relaxing here, taking fresh air. Thank you. Mm. Your Majesty, I am worried. Over what? It's about to... She has not said anything yet concerning the proposal, and I'm afraid she might decline. My dear, Oyuri is just a girl. You don't expect her to accept the proposal just like that. Besides, it's not easy for a girl to dump her love of another man. Your Majesty, if not for anything, our uh, wealth and royalty is enough for me to say yes to that. What does she want? Well, you know, is not the type of lady that is being moved by wealth or material things. For her to sit before us and boldly told us that she is in love with a common palace guard that shows you that uh, she is natural. Mm. Your Majesty, I suggest you sack Odele so that we have enough time with Omi. Get her convinced to marry our son. Let's sack him. My queen, that is a wrong thing to do. You can't just sack Odele just like that. Both of them might decide to run away and the Nini will be nowhere to be found. What I expect you to do is to call our princess and talk to her. So that she will talk to Nini because uh, young ladies of today knows how to handle issues that concerns their time. Yes. It's okay. Just a second. No, 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 no. You're not going to go. Eh? Oh, Nini. See, the reason I'm asking you to marry the prince is for your own good. Look at yourself. You're very beautiful. You have a bright future staying in this palace as a palace maid. From palace maid to a cook. Yes. Marry the prince and be in the same position with me as the princess and the future queen of Umamaga kingdom. You will be in control of all the women of this kingdom. Whatever you want, you will have it. You name it. Cars, jewelries. In fact, everything. You name it. Onine, why do you want to lose this golden opportunity? Why? <coughs> um, my princess. Ah. <sighs> I don't know I don't know what to say, but I will start by, by saying a very big thank you to you for considering me and counting me worthy of the prince. Uh, it's a privilege. But I'm sorry I I cannot accept your proposal of marrying the prince. If I do that it means that I am deliberately snatching someone else's position and that is Amara. That's totally unfair. I wouldn't do that to my fellow woman. Amara has been in this palace long enough for the same position, waiting on the prince. How would she feel? If I accept this proposal of marrying the prince. But you know that Amara is not a wife material. You've seen it yourself. She's not. Uh, but you can make her one. Why not teach her to be? Why not tell her she needs to be well behaved? I mean, if you give her a reason to, she will. 
I believe she can learn and adjust. Besides, my my love is not for sale. Let me tell you something about myself. My princess, I am not that kind of a woman. I am not the type that is carried away with material things, luxuries, houses, clothes, shoes, bags, wealth, positions. I mean, I love and I love truly. I am in love with Odili. Money or not, I love him. I hope you understand. I'm, 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 I'm very sorry, my princess. I, I cannot. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Hmm? I'm sorry, my... I'm sorry, my princess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, son. Yes, I know. But can I ask you a question? What if you come back and you don't like her? What will you do? What well, if you say so? Yes, she's around. Okay, hold on, let me call her. Amara! Amara! My queen! Please come! My son, he wants to speak with you. Okay. Hello, honey. How are you? I'm not fine. Why are you coming back from London? Truth is, I cannot wait to be in your arms. Soon. Are you serious? Soon. Okay, bye. <laughs> he said he's coming soon. Yes, he said so. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so, how did you get to know Odile? What has he given you to eat that you have sworn no man will come in between both of you? Uh, my princess, um, the story of I and Odili is actually a very long one and I don't think there's time enough to tell you all about it because I, I need to go prepare dinner. But one thing I need you to know is what they didn't give me anything to eat. It's just pure love. Just love. The love each other. Look at them. Partners in crime. So both of you are here planning on how to snatch my prince from me. Well, it might interest you to know that you both have failed work. Because I just got off the phone with my man. And he said he will be coming back shortly to pay my diary. I mean, all the marriage rights in full. And you, listening to her, she's just deceiving you. So I'll advise you hold that your poor wretched orderly. Like they say, a bed at hand is worth more than a million in the bush. With due respect, my, my, my princess, no one is dragging the prince with you. Let's see who wins. <laughs> I am aware. 
I never lose. I am a born winner. The prince is mine and mine forever. Excuse me. We will see. Um, just go back to your duty. Amara. Amara. <laughs> I told you. Just do it and do it very well. And be very careful. Yes, Mom. Consider it done. I trust you. Okay, then. My love. I am no longer comfortable in this palace. As a matter of fact, I want us to leave this palace because I am tired of everyone pestering me to marry the prince. I cannot continue like this. My love, I understand how you feel. But I completely disagree with you. Leaving the palace this instant it's not the right decision to make. I mean, do not forget the reason why we're here. Do not forget the mission. We need to raise money for the marriage rights, remember? Think about that. Besides, I hear the prince comes back from London soon. Hopefully he picks Amara for a wife. Then boom, life goes on. Work continues. <laughs> and what happens if he chooses me instead of Amara? No. I have a very strong feeling he'll pick Amara. <laughs> and what if your feelings disappoint you and he picks me instead of Amara? Oh, my love. He'll pick Amara. I'm sure of that. The question still remains, what if? Then we run away. I mean, run to somewhere very far away from everyone. Abscond, elope, disappear. Beautiful. That's my point exactly. So this is the right time for us to start packing our bags so that running away can be easy for us. Because you know what? I see the end of this whole drama. I know that everyone will try to convince the prince to pick me considering the fact that they all have their eyes on me. And, 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 and if that happens, where does that leave you? What happens to you? Well... Although I know that nobody can force me to do what I do not want to do. Like marrying the prince. But it is better for us to play safe. So this is the time for us to leave. This is exactly how I wanted you to sound. Princess, you sent for me. Um, Adelie, yes, take this money, go get me toothpaste. Toothpaste? Yes. But we have a lot of that in the house. Go get me toothpaste! No, my princess, there, there are toothpastes. My friend, will you go and get me toothpaste? Oh, you mean you don't like the brand? I said, go and get me toothpaste, my friend. Another, another brand, another, another brand of toothpaste. Oh, just okay. go, whatever, just go. 
Another, another brand of toothpaste. Yes. She Just doesn't like the one in the house. Maybe. Okay. You. Are you done with breakfast? Um, I was on it before you called. Then go back to the kitchen. Go get busy. Okay, my princess. Toothpaste. Just go. I need you to listen to me. You need to go in there and start packing your things. Because first thing in the morning, we are out of this place. Where do we go from here? But tell me, where do we go to? We have no place to run to. And babe, don't forget how difficult it is to find a job. Don't forget how How much we suffer to to get this particular job, huh? Listen, we, we we must stay back. I strongly believe they will all come to their senses. They'll come around. Hey, hold on a minute. Who am I talking to? Am I communicating with you? I mean, why do you find it difficult to understand me? Do you even care about what I'm going through in this palace? I am. Tired. I'm tired of the pestering. I understand. But running away is going to be risky. Oh my god. Running away is risky. What if we run away and the, the king accuses us of theft? Stealing his money. And you know how connected he is. He's going to chase us with the police. Then? Listen, he's the king. The traditional oh ruler of this kingdom. He has the power to put us in prison. Suddenly we can find a place to hide. For crying out loud, we can hide ourselves in a place that nobody can even find us. Come on. Not even the king. Come on. For how long do you want to hide? Are you serious? For how long do you want to hide? If you ask me, I'll suggest the king sacks us himself. Than running away like common thieves. Yes. Dear Lord, what kind of a problem is this? How did we even find ourselves in this mess? How did we get here? I I understand how you feel, but listen, we, we listen, we have to stay back. We can't run away. There's no place to run to. We can't find a job. It's difficult to find a job. Remember what we went through to get this one? Listen, let's just focus on the plan. I believe they will come to their senses. Okay? I believe they will come around. Baby, listen to me. We can make it outside of this place. We can. We can make this happen. Please, let's just leave. I, I understand you. <laughs> My love, I oh, we, we have to also think about who took that money? Father, it's a waste of time asking them because none of them is going to accept that he or she took the money. So I suggest we search their rooms and bags. That's true. Now go into your rooms. Bring your bags out here. Now! Move into your rooms. Follow me. Yes, sir. Move! Does it mean we've been harboring criminals in our palace?
You have to carry them because I'll search them one after the other. Pick up the bag and let the other indicate. Who has this? Money, This is one of the bundles out of the money I withdrew from the bank yesterday. Hodele, so you are a thief. You stole my money. No. Where is the rest of the money? There's a mistake somewhere. I am not a thief. I can't take anything that doesn't belong to me. Somebody put that money in my bag. Somebody stole that money and is trying to set me up. Who, who put the money in my bag? My friend, stop demonstrating! He's not a thief! <laughs> your Majesty! You your Majesty, listen, I, I didn't steal... You are telling your wife to listen. To listen to you. Listen! This is a conspiracy. Somebody's trying to set me up. I didn't do this. My queen, I didn't take your money. Somebody stole the money and put it in my bag. Just to set me up. Say something! Say something! I thought you were a good person. I'm a good person. I am disappointed at you. Same here. I am disappointed at you. What, what is that? Let's see, Leading down there will not help you or save you. I will call the police right now. And you are going to rot in jail. My king. My king. My king. Somebody stole this money and put it in my bag. <laughs> it is obvious this is a conspiracy. My king. You can't do this to me. Are you still any money? Please, I beg of you in God's name, don't do this. Please do not call in the police. I, I, I promise you all they didn't steal this money. If you call the police in, there's nobody to speak for him. He doesn't have anyone to speak for him. Just have mercy. You, you can do anything, Your Majesty. Maybe you can sack him. Or better still, you can sack the both of us. Yes, just sack us and... Uh, Please just give us time to run around and bring back this money. My princess, please. My queen, we will bring back this money. I promise you, we're going to pay back this money. I'll make him start the only land he has. I'll make sure he pays back. Please have mercy. Please. Father, please listen to Onimi. Let them go, please. Thank Mother. You. Okay. I give both of you only one vote. Mm -hmm. To return my money back to this palace. Thank God. Thank you. If you don't do that, both of you will rot in jail. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes. Now, you take up your bags, go in there, pick the rest things you have there, and leave this palace. Yes. Because we cannot be having criminals. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Thank you so much. 
for what taking your majesty? Who pay you back the money? I promise you. Take your hands. Please go, come on. I still do it. Go, go, go. Marry the prince. Useless thing. Go back to the bin where you belong. Dirty girl. And you. You heard the king. One month. One month to return the money or begin to choose the particular cell you love to spend the rest of your life. Look at them. Dirty things. So dirty. I wonder who is giving this orderly money to maintain his cause. Idiots. Your Majesty, these people love themselves a lot, especially that Oninye girl. She can actually die for that poor boy because of love. But that boy must pay for not allowing on to marry the prince. At least let it be the price he paid for love. I don't think it's bad. Um, but, but mom, I don't think we should disturb or deliver for the money again. We all know that he didn't steal it. We just wanted to intimidate him for not allowing Nonine to marry the prince. Will you shut up your mouth? I said shut up your mouth if you don't know what to say. Do you know what it means for that poor boy to reject my offer simply because of a, of a woman? It's love. They're in love with each other. You don't have to blame him, dad. In that case, he has to pay the price for that love. Right. If after one month he did not return back my money, you will see what I will do to him. In fact, today and their entire generation, you don't know me too well. I'm a heartless man and I can do as I do. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't kill me. Hey! Nice you! Only here and Audrey are back. Hey! So you people are finally back. Huh? You are finally back. My, is that how to welcome them? How do you want me to welcome them? Huh? How do you want me to work on them? So I should jump up and hug them. I can have a Have a My children, go inside and drop your bag. Hmm? Hey, 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 pardon. As soon as you go inside the room and open it and drop that your bag, you come out here and pay me my house rent for all the most you lock that door. Do you hear me? Hey, nice. Hey, you guys are not going to be here. You are not going to be here. Hey, Nai! Okay. What is your problem? Eh? 
Can't you allow these children to rest before asking him money for your house rent? Eh? And besides, Adili here is no longer going to pay house rental because he is our son-in-law to be. And then now he is part of this family. Yes. You see your life? You see your life? He's no longer going to pay the house rent because he's our son-in-law to be. Thank God you say our son-in-law to be, not yet our in-law. Get that into your head. Get that into your head. Our son-in-law to be, not yet our in-law. Hey, Flory. I thought I'm going to He's no longer going to pay for the house rent. Because you're a woman. No. Now, what you are doing to this boy is not good. What am I doing to him? What you are doing to this boy is not good. Remember, your own son is there in the city, living in somebody's house. Mm -hmm. What you are doing to this poor boy is not fair. I am not doing anything. It's not fair. What am I doing? Demanding for my house rent? Why? Because they say I'm not coming here. Hey! Hey, come now, Chini. When they go here, they man are just a lie. In the next 20 minutes, book down in the kind of here. Hey, I'm not seeing it. Come, man, I'm not seeing it. No, I can't wait. I'm not seeing it. So, Papa, Mama, that is exactly what happened. They sent us away on the condition that we're going to bring back the Queen's money in a month. How? My children, this is what you people passed through. But who could have stolen Lolo's money and put it inside all the list bag? I know this is a setup. Oh, Mama, we are equally as confused as you. It is obviously a setup. Our suspicion is Amara, the prince's wife to be. You know, ever since we moved into that palace, she has not given us a breathing space. She doesn't like us, and nothing we do pleases her. It's been from one shouting to the other, calling us names, and I mean, we know she's the one, but we don't have to. Mama. Onyinye is 100% right. She doesn't like us. She doesn't want us around the palace. There was a time she sent us away without the knowledge of the king and the queen. She asked us to leave. We strongly believe she's the one behind all these things. This is indeed a setup. Bam! All these things both of you are saying is none of my business. All I'm saying is that you should run around and get money and return to Igwe and his lawyer. Failing to do that, you prepare yourself to go to prison. Huh? And uh, you order, I am giving you one week to perform Onyeji marriage right. Failing to do that. I will just bundle her and send her to her brother's uh, uh, house in the city. Uh -huh. And you never see her again. But, but sir, you can't do that to me. Uh -huh. You can't do that to me. You're, putting, you're putting pressure on me. Give, give me more, Where do you want me to raise that type of money from in one week? It's all right. Why don't you give me some time to see what I can come up with? All this is you're saying is none of my business. Give you time, give you time, give you time. On give more, I have said my own. One week. All the late, one week. Papa, but this is not fair now. Yeah, we can't be under pressure to get the queen's money back. And then you're putting us under pressure to, to, to raise money for traditional marriage rights. And it's not fair. Is that actually to steal the queen's money? All I'm saying is my own. Did, did we steal the money? Hey. So, you believe these children stole uh, 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 your lost money, Abby? Eh? What? Um, my son, Odile. You are going nowhere. Don't mind him. Eh? You are going nowhere, and he is not going to do anything. Mm. I'm not going to do anything. Hey! Mama, mama, this house, 
These are women's talk. Let's talk man to man. Hey. One week. One week. surprise he is my son the yeah. prince of this kingdom your husband to be oh, and she is oh my your God. wife to be Are you pacing around? Is everything okay? I don't know. Just that I'm scared. I don't know if our plan will work. Scared? Why are you scared? Come on, mom. Relax. Everything is under control. Really? Yes! We plan this together. Remember? See? Dad likes the game. Reason he asked me to arrange it. So you have nothing to worry about. Are you sure about it? Yes, Mom, I'm so sure. Oh, I am relieved. <laughs> Don't worry, nothing is going to happen. It's in control. <laughs> Where is uh, the Prince Anama? Um, your Majesty, they are still in their room. Still in their room? Uh, princess. Father. Go to your brother's room and tell him that I want both of them now. Yes, Father. My name is Jaka. I am going to go to the machine. In a low and a one up and I'm carrying. Um, Prince, I call this meeting now because I overheard and also noticed that. Both of you are doing what I asked you not to do. I told you that I don't want you to touch each other until the marriage rite is performed. 
Yes, Your Majesty, you said. But we are sorry, Your Majesty. We, we could not control ourselves. What? Yes, yes, my queen. She, she wouldn't allow me. She, she was all over me. I, I, I could not help it. After all my warnings to both of you? Now get out of my sight! Get out! Look at them. Okay, man, I'm going to go to the house. to go to the house. I've been saying it. This girl is not a good girl. At all. She's not. Hey. Big Sigim, the one in the house. In this palace, the one in the house. Because if you do any other, they will show you the door. It is a disappointing delay. Madam Princess, I thought you said your brother would not marry me when he comes back. Between you and I, who is the winner? Of course I am. <laughs> Let's watch and see who is the winner. Now get out of my sight, if you like. Don't look at me. Keep pressing that phone. Is that phone you press for the rest of your life? Get out! Shut up! Baby. What's the plan? The one week my father gave us is due in three days. I intend pleading with your father to at least allow me to start something small with the little money I can afford. We can start by paying the bride price, the dowry. I, I just hope he accepts. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. We can actually plead with my father. <sighs> but what about the queen? The money, the palace money. <sighs> it's... The one month is almost due. Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. How? H how do you mean you will handle it? <laughs> What are you going to do about that? Tell me. Mm -hmm. This is the plan. I want us to run away. Let us run to the city where no one can find us. Look for a job. Start working so we can raise some money. Then we come back and pay them. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a very valid point. We can actually run away. Yes. Why not? <sighs> That's good. <sighs> this is such a relief. What about your father? Oh, please. <sighs> like you said, we're going to come back when everything is okay, right? Me when everything is settled. Sir, please. I'm begging you in the name of God. Uh, allow me to do the little I can. The little I can afford. Please. I, I know I am not financially buoyant now. But I strongly believe that things will get better in no time. I love your daughter so much. And I can't afford to lose her. I promise to take care of her. But let's start with the little I have now. The little money I can afford. Please, sir. I can't do this without you. Help me, sir. I love your daughter so much and I promise to take care of her. Please, sir. I beg you in the name of God. Papa. Papa, please. Papa, I beg you in God's name. If there's anything I've done in my past to piss you off, 
I am sorry. Papa, please. I beg of you, just listen to him. Papa, this is a man after my heart. And the person I would love to spend the rest of my life with. If I do not marry him, Papa, I would die. Nye, Nye, please. Nye, please listen to them. Be calm. Remember the love you have for all your children. You promise to do anything that will make them happy. Papa, it's you. your lovely daughter here, say that it's only ugly you make her happy for the rest of her life. Why not do it for her? Be calm. Please, Nye. Do it for her. I believe that when they get married, God Almighty will surely bless them. And we all will rejoice with them. We will enjoy with them. Is it the money? Be calm. Be calm. Papa. Oh. Be calm. Oh. Be calm. No. Be calm. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Be calm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will inform my kinsman that my son in law to be Adele will come and perform my daughter's marriage rights. Papa, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I love you. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Stand up. Sit down. Hmm? Adam, I don't know. I want to give you the nag. Adam, sir. Just grab the phone, your baby. Thank you, sir. Expensive clothes. So we have to manage what we have. Don't worry, I have money. My love, here is a hundred thousand. I want you to go to the market and buy something nice. Buy a nice dress. Because I want you to look very beautiful on that day. I want people to be very jealous of you. Especially your friend, Okoma. I want her to look at you and feel like, oh, you're so beautiful. Baby. Huh? 100,000 naira. Yes. Where is this money from? Oh, don't tell me you sold anything. And I hope you didn't borrow this money either. No. I didn't sell anything. And I didn't take money from anyone. I've been saving. These are my savings. Listen, all of those errands at the palace, I make money from them. Don't you know? And it summed up to a hundred thousand naira. Well, I added my salary to it. Uh, no. Can give me everything. Take. It's yours. I want you to look good. I want you to buy something nice for yourself. A nice dress. I want people to be jealous of you. When they look at you, they'll be like, Yes, she's happy. I mean, we don't have to spend on a big wedding, but we can also look good. So, this is all mine? To spend? Yes, like I said, buy something nice. Buy a nice dress. You look good on that day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Baby, all of this is for me. Yes. Wow.
this boy want to play with me? You want to play game with me? Oh, you want to marry Onye, my supposed daughter-in-law? Oh, I will really deal with you. I will show you who I am. Yes. My prince, everything is alright. Everything is alright. I'm just thinking about something, though not serious. Yes. Oh, everything I'm... is fine. <sighs> you got me worried, Your Majesty. <laughs> um, how is Amara? Amara? Amara, she's in the room. Mm. My prince, you see that girl, Amara. I am no longer comfortable with, with her. F Father, she... I don't understand, Your Majesty. <sighs> no way. Go back to your room. Your Majesty... Okay. Your Majesty, I came to discuss something else with you. Don't worry. Go back to your room. We will talk later. Why is this place so dumb? They are not even playing your music. So no, yeah. we are, we are Stop! Stop! We are the one that brought this people. Yeah, this boy. Ah, they not started playing that. Why be even like this? No, 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 Start to play now, please, please, scratch something. Hey, what's going on? Oliver, give me better. I just came from the Oh, Muna, what happened? What happened? You want to plug up? You want to plug the battery? Calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. I'm playing the music now. Huh? Oh, my God, now. Now, 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 why are you saying that? What's the problem? Now? What's the problem? This is for our guests. Now, so, 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 Ha ha! Hey! Oh, Dilly, Dilly! Hey! 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're yeah, a bad boy, too. Yeah. Only you're a bad boy. 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 you are a Oh my God. How are you? Do we, do we start? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Ok
You think you can play a fast game on me by getting married to my supposed daughter in law? I am here to give you the last chance. If you are going to accept whatever I'm telling you today, you will not go to jail. I said, wait, I am coming. Your Majesty, please don't arrest us. I told you I'll come. This is funny. This bag here contains 20 million naira. I want you to use it to better the lives of your parents and leave this boy called Odile and marry the prince, my son. Yeah. What? Don't worry. The matter is settled. The matter is settled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have told you to leave this foolish boy alone. Leave, leave, leave him alone. He is bad news to this family. Leave him alone. Leave don't worry, the matter is settled. I have, I have taken the money. Papa, what? No, oh. no, no, Papa. No, I keep that Papa, money. Papa, Papa, please stop. Keep no. that money. Your Majesty. Please. please. Make sure no. Happy, shut happy, up happy. your mouth. Don't worry, the matter is settled. What? It's not possible. I'm sorry. Your Majesty. My Queen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I, I, can't, I can't accept this. I, I'm sorry. She's lying. Papa, She's Papa, lying. Papa, please don't Are you all right? Are you all right? Can you just... Is something wrong with can you? Can you just stop? Is something wrong with you? Stop. I'm sorry, I cannot marry the prince. You will marry him? The prince okay. already has a wife, ah. and, and that is Amara. I, I, I can't. I love Odili. And my love for him is not for sale. Yes. I am in love with him. This is the man after my heart. Oh, I yeah, cannot yeah. Love each other, your sell mom. his love for anything in the world. Mom, not just even this money. <laughs> Papa, please drop this money. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I cannot. If you this money, leave this compound. I will kill your life. Papa, please. Yeah, Adele. Leave this compound, though. Leave this compound. You have bad news. Oh, sorry. Leave this compound. I haven't done anything wrong. Papa, stop this. He's now. going nowhere. Yeah. No. Take it, I'm Papa, I want a bonnet. No. Yeah. Papa, stop this. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Hey. Why? Because of money. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. It's all right. Mazibakwe, it's all right. Adele, you heard what I told you. I want you to take this money and leave Onyinye to get married to my son, the prince. Uh, my king, 
king. I, I, I don't understand. What's going on here? Don't worry, we will settle it. I said, take this money into your room and count it and make sure it's 20 million naira. Your Majesty, if I heard you correctly, you said if I take the money, I will not go to jail. Finally, you will not go to jail. But then you have to leave me. Yes, so, of course, we can't take it. But you want me to go to jail? Oh, come on, guide, younger. And you're willing to sacrifice our love for what? <laughs> well, you heard the king. He said I'll go to jail if I don't take the money. Suddenly, oh, you're wasting my time I'm, and the I'm time sorry. of my kissman. I'm sorry, your, your majesty. I, I'm just trying to explain to, to, to her so she can understand. Okay, so what... what uh, what are you? Say no! Hey! Are you? Say no! I said it no. Sorry. What about me? My love, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I don't want to go to jail. What about? Oh, I'm sorry. Your Majesty, let, you? let me count it. Are you serious? Your sister. Let me count. Let me count. Ma, what did you? What did you? Bring it. You said if it was not Adelie, you would die. No! 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 Golden shoes at the feet and you mean you keep quiet, keep quiet there my friend. Eh? Hey. 20 million naira. Do you know what 20 million naira will do for us? Hey! What kind of rubbish is that one? Oh yeah. Somebody wait. Oh yeah. You see your life. You see your life. You see your life. You see your life. Money, money. Leave me alone. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Money, money. Calm down. Please. You don't pay for money. You see? You see your life? Oh, you're crying. You're crying. What's up? What's up? What's up? That's my son. Madeline. Igwe. Your Majesty. The people have home with your friend. Hey! Oh. Friend! Hey! Oh. The man standing before you here came into this kingdom in disguise. And he was here in search of a good wife. And the year standing before him happens to be that good wife he later found here. The same man, as I said before now, is a prince. And that same prince is my son. Bad guy! It's too much! You stabbed me in the wall! Hey! <laughs> you shocked me! Trust me for this official thing! You trust me now! <laughs> you, you know I deliver! But I, I deliver you, to the fullest! You finished work! Oh, thank you! Thank but you, you know what? Yeah. You really enjoyed that girl! Uh, you must tell me for that uh, one! <laughs> well, you put it for the enjoyment now! Wait till come be that one! <laughs> You plan on the edge of the my money here. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Complete, Abi. Let it come be that one. I bet you the money they go. I trust you, I trust you. <laughs> um, I'm sure you call me for some couple jobs. For waiting now. I bet call you no, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wait, let me give you one. One shot for the road. You two they worry. Only they leave my Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Who laughed last? Laughed the best. <laughs> hmm. Hey. Why the people? Eh? Wonder they say shall never end. 
So, this boy is a prince. All this while he was living with us in this house. And pretending to be poor. Hey! I thank God, though. Mm. I thank God I did not treat him bad at all. But. What do you want to be? What do you want to be? He didn't even show as if, in fact, <sighs> let me reserve my comments. Huh? Mm. Huh? Huh? I now believe that word that they say. I think I'm not on a moto. I have known that my sister Onyenye is a very lucky girl. Huh? Right from when they gave birth to her, I know she's a lucky girl. Uh. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Huh? Oh, yo. She's very lucky. It's not this uh this old church that they called Judith that went to marry that uh, poor wretched uh, rat. But what is it? What sort of word is that? Oh, 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 oh. So because of um, Onye's husband is a prince and Onye is now the future queen of Omaamaga Kingdom. I and my husband worth nothing to you again. Hey, just shut it up. Just shut the show not get the now. Eh? Eh? As in the di puta. Give me a puta kwa ya. My friend. Be a something. Why are you insulting Judith and her husband? I'm not saying say anything bad. Eh. Were you not the one that said, "It's over your dead body"? Will oddly marry Onye, your sister? True. So why are you so nice to them now? Or because? Eh? Oh, oh. My friend, my friend. Why yourself? Oh. Just shut up, man. Now. No, what's the problem? What's the problem? What is it? Uh -uh. If you allow me to concentrate, allow me to think. Ah, sorry, nah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Odile is a prince. Not just a prince, but a rich prince. And I live a way. And in law. To a royal family. Oh, yeah, we're not getting more new. Say, you know, if you know, Papa, you are not even talking. Imagine a cooker, a maru media. Call the limit, pay the gigate, get me pay the gigate. You know, who could know, Papa, you want to be on a no in another man's kingdom. My law is the king, so he can do anything for me to make me happy. Baba, no, no, no. Hi, Baba. I'm too much. And all the two will make it, do everything to make you happy. Both of them. Hi. Please, please, please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I did to you. I was so much and I would not do them again, please. Just give me a second chance. I would even worship you like my king. Please, please. Before I get to this planet before I need just send her away. Send her away and allow me to take back my position as, as your wife and the future queen of this land, please. I'm begging you. This is the beauty. is very attractive and I quite agree to that Amara you're very beautiful so let's assume I'm attracted to you because you're beautiful what makes me stay with you have you thought about that because I'm attracted to you you're beautiful, so your beauty attracts me to you. So what makes me stay with you? Your character. 
because they say a man or a woman is defined by the content of their characters. And sometimes I ask myself, who raised you? Because you have a very bad character. However, because I'm a gentleman and I'm a humble prince, I do not want to throw you out myself. So I'll peacefully, politely ask you to go in there, pack every of your belongings, and disappear. Hey. Mm. Please. 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 Take your hands off me. Take your hands off me. In case you didn't hear me, I'll repeat myself. I'll quietly ask you to go in there, pack your things, and disappear. Because when I come downstairs and meet you here, <laughs> I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. All right, thank you. The guys will see you all. Okay. Feel better? Okay. So in order to recover really fast, you need to eat some food. Okay? So the appetite. kitchen what? I don't have appetite. No no you have to eat. Listen, get up. Just get up. Get up. Get up. Yeah, that's fine. It's a cookie bomb. It's fine. You like it? with you. You almost killed me. It wasn't my fault, baby. You caused it. I mean, I... I can't... I can't even remember anything, but... I know the last thing I remembered was... was, was I just can't wrap my head around it, but... I don't know. I just lost my mind. I don't know how it happened. It was, it was, it was, shock was, it was, shock was too much. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Yeah. Drink some water. You'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's okay. <sighs> <laughs> I 
Amara. Amara, you have killed me. In fact, I am dead already. After all my advice. After all my advice, Amara. Look at you now. You are back to square one. I warned you. I warned you, Amara Chuku. But all you told me was that we are no longer on the same page. We are no longer on the same level. Imagine yourself. If you're a Maggie. 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 See, listen. Forget this noise you're making, you know. I am giving you just one month. One month to get married and leave this compound. This house is my house. Have you heard me? And both of you. You are not good friends at all. You could not control her. You just allowed her to mess up. Eh? Here, yeah, Mama. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. We tried our best by controlling her. You know how stubborn and arrogant she is. She doesn't take correction from anybody. I'm a lady, your man. Who am I saying? I warned you. I warned you. Just because I gave you advice. Just for your own good, though. For your own good. You said, eh, I was jealousy you because you moved into the palace as a royal, whatever, uh, and you walked me out of the palace because you said you are the future queen. You walked me out of the palace of my best friend. I warned you. You see? You see yourself? Who's going to marry you again? In fact, those my dry lips, you are going to beg me to kiss them. You see yourself? Idiot. <laughs> now you are shedding tears. Crocodile tears. Look. It is too late to cry when the head has been chopped off. If you tell me which person in this kingdom will marry you again. Idiot. <laughs> I'm off here. See, Amara. First thing tomorrow morning, I am coming here to collect that 15,000 naira I paid you. I am coming here to collect that money. Shh. It's not getting me. Mama. Shut up, both of you. Let's go and then walk out. We have to take our money it's back. Leave my house now. No, 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 I am giving you one month, just one month, to get married and leave my house for me. You said it's a wretched house. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay. Uh... look sad. Don't tell me you're still worried about the incident. Well, um, I just have a lot going on in my head. I have a few questions I would love to ask you. Maybe it's okay. What could that be? I promise you're gonna, you're gonna um, talk to me, you're gonna answer me. I promise. Okay. You know, I was just thinking in my head. Looking back and knowing how you were in the same palace that you are now as a prince. I mean, you were here as an ordinary palace guard with all of the maidens and the palace guards. Nobody recognized you. I mean, how did you do it? 
Could it be that they all were pretending not to know you? I mean, it's... It's crazy thinking about it. How did you do that? My love. Yes. I can understand what troubles you. But it's okay. I'll tell you everything. Okay. Come. My love. Yes. It was entirely my decision to embark on this journey. And your mother here, the queen of this kingdom, called you in order to have a discussion with you. And this is about the marriages that you have attempted that failed. Especially the marriage between you and the Chibuko, the princess of uh, Ozara land. And so many other girls that you tried to get married to that also failed. Then we decided to call you for a meeting in order to ask you what next. <sighs> Dad, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak my mind about my experiences so far. I'm going to say this, that I'm very, very disappointed with what I see around. It's quite unfortunate. I mean, that I'm sure before you married mom, you saw some qualities you liked in her. But in my own case, it's totally different. I've been around for a while and uh, I tried to engage a few people. And to everyone's knowledge, it's been abortive. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I believe uh, a man knows what he wants in a woman. You meet a pretty girl because beauty attracts people to you as a pretty woman but character keeps you but I'm sorry to say that I haven't seen anyone with a good character you meet someone whom you find attractive and the moment the person realizes that you are from a wealthy family. She gets on her high horse because she feels she's also from a wealthy family. At the end of the day, she doesn't see a reason why she should respect you. Because she thinks whatever you can afford for yourself, she can afford for herself. So that it becomes very confusing to engage these people. On the other hand, you meet someone who's from a poor background. And because she knows my personality, she knows that I am royalty, she becomes very humble. But the moment you engage her and bring her into the house, she becomes a tiger. She begins to act like the Queen of England. Dad, I'm so sorry to say this, but I'm not looking for a beautiful woman. 
I'm looking for a wife material. I'm looking for a woman whom I would engage. Someone I would have intellectually stimulating conversations with. Someone who would support me. Someone who would add value to my life. But I'm sorry to say this, Dad. The people I see around this community, the people I see around this village, are materialistic people. They are not, they don't have dreams. They just want to have sex. They just want to drink alcohol and wear expensive things. That's all. So sometimes I go into my room and I think of what to do. So that yesterday, I came up with a plan. Son, what plan are you talking about? Dad, I want to go in search of a woman who would truly love me for me. How do you mean going in search of a wife? Dad, I've decided to disguise myself. I have decided to change my identity to become a commoner. I'll go into other communities, other villages as a commoner to find my wife. I'll drop every royal personality that I have and I'll come down to their level. By so doing, I'll find someone who truly loves me for me. And when I do that, I'll bring her here. We will both serve as palace maid, palace guard in this kingdom. And it is going to be under your watch. You're going to watch her closely. Dad, you're going to watch her very closely to confirm if she has similar characters with mom. And if you find that one thing that made you pick mom as the queen of this kingdom if you find that character in her then I'll make her my wife very brilliant mm -hmm. so do you think you can handle this well um sorry let me come in son I don't have a problem you disguising and going into the village to look for a wife but coming back to serve as a palace guard, I think I have a problem with that. Because I don't know how you're going to achieve that. We have palace maidens and guards who already know you're the crown prince of this kingdom. And don't you think your little secrets will be made open to the woman you're going to bring in by the palace guards and maidens? Mom, I understand your point. But I have everything under control. I'll suggest we send all the workers away. The maidens, the guards, send everybody away. And when I go in search of a wife, you can employ new people. So that when I am back, no one would recognize me as a palace guard. That's nice. Our son has wisdom. And this is fantastic. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> so that was exactly what happened. Wow. After I sent my maidens, my gods, I sent them all away. My 
my parents, most especially my mom, employed new ones. The ones working presently in the palace right now. And she did that because the plan must not be ruined. Oh, whoa. I mean, the new ones don't know me. Yeah. So my secrets are safe. <laughs> Besides, I don't live around. I don't live in the country, so. And that is why, in fact, that's the major reason Amara doesn't know who I am. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's my story. Are you serious? Yeah. You mean all of this just to find the love of your life? <laughs> <laughs> you have to go this far? So, hold on. How did you locate me? I mean, how did you find me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a very important question, right? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the day I saw you and your sister? I mean, coming back from somewhere, I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I said hello to you. Uh huh. And you responded with so much humility. Okay, so yeah. that single act of yours pushed me. Oh. Moved me. I had to trace your house. And coincidentally, there's a vacant room <laughs> and the idea of me doing all of that came up. Oh my, my goodness, I right. cannot even imagine this. I mean, this is unbelievable. You went this far just to get the love of your life. Right. Whoa. That's kind of cool and cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ask me, I I think that whatever happened was actually predestined. I mean, our paths were meant to cross, destined to be together till death do us part. My love, don't talk about death. I mean, I feel like. We're young people. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Life, death, life and death. We still have so much time on earth. Well, you know. I mean, we're going to love each other and live happily ever after. Okay. Okay, so how many years are we looking at? That's a hundred or two. Oh my god! <laughs> what does that make you? My sister or what? Are you joking? My love, my secret friend. <laughs> you and your family are highly welcome to my house. Thank you, well. I must congratulate you and your wife for giving Onyinye, the princess and the future queen of this kingdom, a well deserved training. Uh, uh, I am the one that trained her. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> She's a good girl. I am happy. She is such a wonderful girl. I and my wife, we are so happy to have her here. And today, she is part of our family. Once again, you are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> Your Majesty, um, thank you very much. I and my family are so delighted to have you as our in-law in our family. <laughs> and I promise you, you will never regret stepping your feet into my family. Igwe. You can say that again. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, in the next Afomarket day, my family, my cabinet members, my casemen, and the entire kingdom that I rule will be coming to your house to perform the traditional marriage rite of your daughter. 
on you. My daughter in law to be. And I promise you, we are going to do it in a larger way, in a bigger way, that your own community will now know that a king stepped into your family. <laughs> your Majesty, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will do as I have said. I will tell all my king's men, even the whole community, that my in law, His Royal Majesty, is coming to my house. See, uh, you know, honey, let me tell you. You see this your son, Odele? He's a good boy. He's a nice person. Do you know that when he was living in my house, I, when I see the the goodness and the is woman name, I ask him not to pay his house rent again. It's true. You it's see, true. as if I know that he, uh, he's going to marry my daughter. You see, uh, Johanny, even this my daughter, when so many suitors we are coming, asking for her hand, they marry. I say, my daughter, no, take it easy. I know that good thing uh, will soon come. I say, if I know. Uh, <laughs> Johanny, you see, this my daughter, she's still a bitch. I'm not going to work here. Seriously. And your, your son, Abel, is a lucky person to have her. <laughs> your majesty. <laughs> and madam, you're not left out. I want to thank you so much for your efforts. Your Majesty, she actually played my mom and she did it so well. You deserve an award. <laughs> After today's gathering, I owe you ten thousand dollars. Wow! Not for me. Thank you. Thank you, my prince. Um, Your Majesty, in addition to all what you have said, I want to say that I am very happy. Onye, I am happy to have you as my daughter in law. Mm. And honestly speaking, I don't know you are this beautiful. She's the carbon copy of my mother. She hid her beauty. It's her character that she cannot hide. Yes. My prince, you have an eye for a good thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, continue to enjoy yourself, please. Continue, continue to enjoy yourself. I am I love I you are a good woman. <laughs> you are a good woman. We are one in this life. We are all home and stop looking down at somebody in a gun. We are one in this life. We are all home and Stop looking down at me We are one in this life We are all home Stop looking down at me Do you want me to die Just like that I will rock with a man Too much.